This nigga John is so bored. Uh, yo, what up, podcast people? It's the one and only legend of winning, aka Low. We back with another episode of Peer to Peer Podcast on a new set. You're still on my left too, which is crazy. On my left, we have my co-host Agent Zero. It's all about consistency, man. That's why. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all gotta be consistent. In life, it's all about consistency. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta be real consistent. You know what I'm saying? And I think the Phoenix Suns showed that in the bubble. They still didn't make the playoffs. Which is a tragedy, by the way, that you could win all your games after being invited to the bubble and still not make it. No, if you won a little bit more games during the regular season. And they shouldn't have invited them. If it was possible for them to win, do everything correct in the bubble and still not make it, they ain't need an invite. No, just just win a little bit more games in the other 50-some games. And um, behind the table, we got John. Yeah. I got a mic. <laughs> I got a mic. <laughs> yeah, you do, John. Yeah, man. Dude, that you do. That you do. I got a mic. Thank y'all for my mic, man. Yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. Don't uh. No I lost it on my mind last time. I just couldn't let y'all know. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I can now hear I you thinking it. Yeah, but you ain't say it. Yo, man. Don't uh, don't uh, don't abuse that power though. Just to let you know. I'm using the mic. <laughs> 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 hey yo, shout out to my um audio people out there on the platform, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Apple Podcasts. Make sure you rate us a five star. Uh everybody out there on um on a Twitter and Instagram where the mouth people holding us strong. And then people on YouTube, as always hit the subscribe button, leave a comment, like button, and after you do all of that, make sure you hit the bell so you can join. Know the gang, 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 gang. Gang, let's get into another. Yo, great podcast, well, I'm not gonna bro. lie to you, it's been bothering me a little bit. That a great uh, podcast, bro. Is you just don't have your socks on, man. Like, it's just, it's just, it's, it's really, it's really getting under my skin, it's getting under my nerves. Yeah, in your own home, I ain't gonna lie, your socks, your, your sockless feet. My feet are in great condition. I haven't got a pedicure in like two weeks. No, your sockless feet really annoying me, bro. Oh. <laughs> with your dogs out like that. How dare you? Yeah, guys, I'm in my own house, bro. I'm not how dare on, you? How dare you? I'm in my own house. I'm not throwing on no fucking socks. Nah, I'm not how gonna, dare I'm you. gonna be honest with y'all. Think about it. Like, I don't know. Yeah, that's an American thing though, bro. People just come into the I swear to God, man, I seen some I seen some people jump in bed with shoes on. And I'm like, that's a different breed right there. But here in this household, man, when you enter, you take your shoes off, bro. It's a sign of respect. Most Eastern cultures are like that. I've I've never met an Af- I never went to an African's house and shoes was allowed inside. I never been to no Asian's house, Chinese or even South Asian, Pakistan, Indian, and shoes allowed in their house. That might just be an American thing where people just don't mind wearing shoes in their house. But hey, here in this household, we got John with his feet out. You know what I'm saying? Low with his feet out. Well, John got my, socks my on. My feet are not out. His, his feet, feet is out, bro. I got, I got nah, socks on. He though. has socks on. His yeah. feet is out. He has socks on. Socks on. John, do you you wear shoes in your house? Huh? You wear shoes in your All house? Time. Exactly. Yes, yeah, for real. Yeah, aren't you worried that like it's your home? No, it's a floor. Yeah, but then you're bringing outside inside. You bring outside inside every single time you order something from Amazon, and you bring it inside. Oh yeah, the Amazon stuff was touching the floor with every it's step. Literally, it's literally they were dragging the, it on the floor. I mean, I don't wear my yeah, shoes they in my do, bed. Actually. I take them. Yeah, off no, that's wild. Bed. If you wear shoes in the bed, that's yeah. I, it's interesting you, how you, you like that's where people draw the line. Like in your bedroom is fine, but the bed. No, I'm mm. talking in the bed. If you like on the bed, just walking on your bed, moon walking on your on your actual bed, that's no, that's OD. In Calabasas, yeah, in Calabasas. All right, DDG, hold on, I guess Jesus. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> jeez, jeez, dude, but it's, jeez. A, it's a it's a floor. It's like you're not eating off the floor. Who cares? Yeah, but uh, really you know, what I'm saying me personally, my bad. These shorts is mad short. I'm just really yeah. You got your you got your dogs <laughs> out <laughs> and you wearing the the eighty short shorts. Yeah, bro. Um, everything is in the washer right now. You know, what I'm saying washer is filled to the brim today. You feel I me? See that. So I'm just oh, so bro, most of my shorts don't fit no more. So I only have like five or six shorts that fit. Um, and of those shorts that fit, like two of them is like. Short, but they fuck. shorts though. You can just you can just tie them tighter. No, 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 no. no. Trust me. I'm, you think I'll try? You think that's not the first thing I try? First, first of all, somebody's shorts is three XL, so there's no tying that's gonna uh, make a three oh, XL yes, fit no, me no, now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And Damn, you didn't even have a crazy caboose. You want a three XL? Actually, I do have a fat ass. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. Nah, back in the day, you know, you had no fat ass. Are you kidding me, I bro? Think Davis for sure had a fatter ass. No, bro. You didn't watch my road to athletes. Stop. I'm being for real too. Okay, how about this? Davis had a plump. His was plump. 
I mean, all right, yours, I, was, yours was just wide. No, 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 no. Nah, bro, when was, I when I strong. get done losing weight, you're gonna be like, oh wow, that's that's one of Agent's best features right there. He has a nice ass. You're gonna say that. You're most likely gonna say that. No, nah, I've I haven't noticed that your ass has dropped too much. Davis's caboose was so plump, so like no, but you up. can't tell now because like so perched up. That like as soon as he started losing weight, I was like, damn, that that shit gone now. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you, that shit wasn't like back in the day. <laughs> that was wild, bro. Yeah, Davis, no, I this I know if you have a plump ass, if you have a silhouette, and your silhouette ain't like, and ain't got like the the like the scoop on the end. <laughs> Davis had the scoop, no cap. Yeah, Davis had his Davis had the scoop. You count Davis at the right angle. Mm. He like an upside down question mark. I swear that nigga did. Nah, my, my shit was the same too, bro. I show you one of my road to athletes. No, I show you one of my road to athletes, and you'd be like, <sighs> Agent had it like that too. Nah, you know nah, I mean? nah, nah. Davis ass so fat, he just be bumping into shit. Like mine is like, my body, my body's composition, bro. <laughs> what? Is, Davis, Davis bumping the shit regardless, though, bro. All right, Davis, Davis, da- Davis ass so fat, he has to jump up and down to put on his jeans. All right, that's just you being weird now. <laughs> Um, but I was gonna say I had like the same body composition to like a Kyle Lowry, you know what I'm saying? No, you don't. You know what I'm saying? I play like Kyle Lowry too. I take a lot of charges when I play basketball. Y'all been talking about a man's ass for four minutes. Technically our ass is well mine specifically. I'm say not mine. So your shit not fat? <laughs> no, I think my shit's I think my I think my shit's more flat than anything. Were? It's not like it's not like fat. You don't got it's not like a three D, it's more like a 2D. I like a pancake ass, no cap. If you if you like work on your glutes and shit, uh, women yeah, like it, that shit a it'd lot. It'll be a little plump. Yeah. You like you like girls touching ass? Nah. For real? Touching you my like ass? It? Not not like not like groping it, but like mm. she might just slap your ass. Real nah, quick. there needs to be very little activity around my ass. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, for real? Yeah. Well, you just said women love that shit. No, no, I just what mean like, like as like a physical over, feature. You bent over and she's like, damn. If, Damn, if I bent babe. over to pick something up and she slapped my ass, we, we have a problem. I'm not gonna lie. Yo, but that's just that's just how y'all play. That's how she plays. Oh, that's how we play. That's just how y'all play. Oh, I had to set the record straight. We're not playing like that no more. <laughs> that's the last time we're gonna play what like that. What if y'all cuddling and she like, she just start going lower and lower? Hmm. How low does your does your girl hand have to go down your back before you like? Okay, all right, all right. The what? middle. The middle. The middle. Like my I'm butt, not, my butt's really off the line. I said that earlier. Hey, like, are you small spoon in this cuddling scenario? Huh? No, I mean I might be face to face or whatever. Uh, like the middle, of my, oh, like okay. it should need to be my lower back because then I feel like the the like little spoon. I'm the big spoon. Yeah, I'm the spoon that she used to get like the turkey dressing off, not the sugar. Facts. You know? Facts. So Facts. if she Facts. starts getting lower than my medium back to my lower back mm-hmm. to my ass, now you know you know that little state little swoop. And and at the end of your back, yeah, right before that's too low. That's, that's red too low. zone. You, you, that's red zone. If your if your hands start going deep in that valley, that little curve, I can't. That's it. Like we gonna have to. I'm gonna have to start throwing hands. No cap. Yeah, but you can't say that though. I know I can't because my girl apparently is a troll now, so she might actually start doing that. So yeah, she may just, take a step forward and he's that finger. This ooh, okay, <laughs> all right, John. That's too far. Oh, hey, John. So I went too far. Would, hey, John. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 cut that out. Hey, cut, hey, cut that out. Yeah, because dead ass, she might, huh? What? What? All say right, swear. Right. Let us know about it. Right, bro, you, gotta, you gotta handle that. I'm not gonna. Say, say swear. Yeah, man. I'm not trying to. Um, I'm definitely not trying to. What you call it? Yeah, I'm definitely not trying to. Um, not trying to have that type of that, that type of play going on. But you know, sometimes I do like the comforting feel. You know, nice little grab. You know. On the waist, of course. Just on the waist. <laughs> Nothing lower than that. Nothing lower you can that. be straight with me, Lil. Come on, man. Don't You don't have I, to hide. I am being straight with you. Okay. I'm being straight with you, boy. <laughs> I mean, you could be direct with me. You feel me? Hey, yo, let's, let's wrap up this po- politics talk, bro. Politics? Yo, your man Biden won, bro. Hold on, hold on. I just want to send one text. Say some shit. Your man Biden won. He, took, he flipped Georgia. I was surprised. I was making fun of Davis for like a week. Because the thought of like Georgia being blue was just mind blowing to me, but it actually flipped, which means that Trump was a horrible um, candidate. Because here in Georgia, here in Atlanta, it's a lot of blue, but in the state of Georgia, it's like a lot of red, which is so interesting. Which means that the population in like Metro Atlanta 
in a few other places is like there's actually more people here than it is anywhere else. Mm. So that's crazy. Um, but yeah, shout out to my man Trump, bro. He having a temper tantrum on the timeline. You love to see it. You love to see you it. Love to see you see you love to see. Why the you man. say it's my guy Biden? That's your guy. I don't like Biden. That's your guy. If, Come on, like now. Biden is such a bad politician. Both of them are. No, but, but that's that's the thing. It should really been a landslide. People's not voting for Biden. They're just voting for not Trump. Which is wild, right? Yeah. Because I think if Hillary tried to, if Hillary won again and, and went up to be a, um, a candidate, I think she still would have lost. Yeah, because she's horrible too. So there's, I mean, that's the next one thing. I don't know if Hillary is that bad or Americans are still not ready to have like a woman in charge. Like the thought of like a woman making the decision, they're like, I I rather I rather Trump for another four. No, I don't think that was it. She's just establishment as fuck. Like she's not. Well, so was Biden. Exactly, but that's both of the problems. Is they but just Biden won? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, because nobody took Trump seriously the first time. Nobody believed he was going to win. Zero people. Every I mean, projection. Well, they, can't, they can't be. I mean, by the time he became yeah. a candidate. No, I'm saying by the time he was a candidate, you had to start taking. No, even on right? election day, everyone was like, "Ah, oh, there's there's a reason for the fact that Trump is doing surprisingly well." Like it, it literally like um the polls and shit. It was like, man, I was I wasn't watching CNN or some shit, and it was like, nah, there's a ninety nine percent chance Trump is gonna lose. We're gonna be fine, guys. And I was like, are you sure? <laughs> but people, but people not like people on on fake news. You know, fake news. Of course, those those people um trying to make projections is different from like the people who actually voting. Like people who actually voted. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Like the people who are actually voting, mm. who were voting against their own beliefs. Mm. And still was saying, no, we're going to do Trump. Like, did they believe in Trump so much? Or did they hate Hillary so bad or bad? Did they no, hate Hillary, Hillary that much? Hillary didn't have no endearing qualities. There's nothing about her that stands out. She is literally, she is what the country was trying to go away from. It's just a fucking generic politician that sit there, lie to you, get your vote, and then not do none of the shit that they said they was going to do in the campaign. But I feel like that's, that's what Biden does anyway. It is exactly what he does. Except people had a reason to go out and vote this time. Trump fucked up a lot of shit in four years, bro. He would pretend yeah. like he, like, he just, oh, no, he had such a flawless run. The economy's doing so great. Yeah, economy's doing so great. That's why the interest rate is at fucking zero. They're basically begging people to take out loans. So great. It's, it's, it's doing, it's doing incredible. Like, I love when people, like, on Twitter, and they, like, sit there trying to convince you something. Because they always, like, just, it brings me back to, like, when people on NBA Twitter be trying to tell you something. It's like... No, nah, dog. Like that's not that's not the full truth. Like you just sitting there, just you just hamming it up real quick. Yeah, it's that's like it. they that's don't even they're, they're not even interested in the pursuit of the the truth. <laughs> they just want what makes sense to them or what gets them excited. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, that shit is wild to me, man. But I don't I don't really care. You know what I'm saying? If Trump won, I would save a lot of money. If Biden wins, um, he's not raising taxes. Who, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think Biden. I don't, yeah, Biden doesn't strike me like the type of person that yeah. raises taxes. He not only doesn't sound like he, he's going to raise. He might taxes, raise corporate taxes, but I don't think he raised. I don't think he's going to raise either one of them actually. And even if he does, he might actually create more loopholes. But the but the thing is, I don't think he's going to be able to do that in four years. That's that's why I don't think it'll be done. Yeah, um, <clears throat> but if Biden when Biden wins, it's just easier to be in this country. You guys have no idea how much harder Trump made it for uh, law abiding tax paying job creators to just be in this country. He made it way, way harder mm. um, across the board. And I'm, and I'm a person that has a lot like going for me in terms of like, like I have a lot of accolades that made it easy for me to get the visa. So imagine just a person who wanted to go to school or a person who just wanted a regular job, like it infinitely harder for those people to get into the country. Facts. And then, it's, and then you, you should, you should really ask yourself the question, well, why do we even need people in this country? Like new people, why do we need immigrants? Like you sh we should look at research, right? And all the research, all the studies point to the fact that it's positive for the economy of this country. Because a lot of the time when people come here as immigrants, um, they bring a lot with them. You feel me? Like my dad came to Canada as a, as a refugee uh, to escape like a war or something in Ethiopia. And then he made me. And I was great for the economy in Canada okay. for a few oh, years. Right, right. I thought you were going to say something. <laughs> I thought you were going to say something actually constructive and pot positive. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. No, but for real, though. So, um, people don't think about that kind of stuff, man. Man, he made it so... You have no idea how harder he made it. But that's just one of the things that he did. That's just one of the things. 
No, he made America great. He mismanaged again. the whole nah, pandemic. He made America great again, bro. Chill out, bro. I mean, at the end of the day, your fake news. People people vote based on like emotion, I realized. Which is wild. And Trump invokes like a lot of emotion out of people, especially because um I don't know how he got the religious crowd because it's so clear that he he's not religious at all. E- and everything, <laughs> literally everything he does is has nothing to do with faith base. And I don't know if they're so gullible that someone can just get on a stage and start saying the word Bible and they're like, Oh man, I believe in him. Or, and that's, and that's also like, that was this, this election really proved how just emotional people are when it comes to voting. Like just how blatantly emotional because Trump in in many ways was so far removed from a lot of Republicans, true beliefs or conservatives, true beliefs, like um, being religious is one of them. Another one, he wasn't, like, literally before he got into office, he was pro-choice. Like, that was already discussed. He's been talking about yeah, that. Yeah, he changed a lot of his stances. People, <coughs> people, I mean, you really, if you go back to his old tweets, he used to think very differently about a lot of different things. Very different. But it's cool. You know, people can change their opinions and evolve, but I think he just did it for the sake of fitting exactly. in the party. He just changed. And the fact that people were like, no, nah, he's Republican, and I associate with Republicans, so I have to vote him. Or people were just like, yo, um... I'm Republican, and, but I'm way more so against Democrats, so that's why I'm not going to vote for Hillary, so I'm going to just vote for him. To me, that's when I was like, man, y'all are just voting so emotionally right now. It makes no sense. Shout out to all my TikTok kids out there who's crying right now, Republican TikTok kids. There are Republican TikTok kids? Who are crying right now. Why? Because Trump lost. I don't get it. They turn on the camera and cry? Yeah, they turn on the camera and cry. Okay, that makes no sense to me hey, personally. Can John pull it up? Uh, we won't be able to see it. Oh, oh cool. no, it's not screen recording either. So damn. So yeah, but now there's there's literally a thread on Twitter where it's like these kids are just crying, like with American flag on their backs, crying. It's so uh, the, interesting, right? The, yeah. Just a it really is a United States. Like think about it. it really that that shit is it's not really just one country. I swear it's like this country feels like five different places. Like there's a desert. And then they put a bunch of casinos and strip clubs there. And then there's like Atlanta and it's just a city in the middle of a fucking big forest. Like they just move the forest out of the way to put a city there. And then you go to like New York and they just put screens and ads everywhere in New York. And then you go to like fucking North Dakota and it's nothing but goddamn farms and grass. And then all of those people have to vote for a president that's going to represent them. And none of, like, they just live very different lives. So it's like they just vote. They just, so, like, the the, the part that was craziest to me was the difference between, like, city people and then um, uh, rural people. Yeah. And just city people were all voting Democrat and rural people were just all voting Republican. Didn't matter what, like, and, and so when, when CNN was fucking pointing at the board for goddamn five hours straight, trying to come up with infinite scenarios, every time it was just big city, Blue, 100% blue, every single time, blue. And then... Surrounded by a sea of red. Red. Like, most of this country in surface area is red, but most of this country in people, like, popular vote is... It's blue. Is, yeah, it's blue, so it's like... Yeah. Or... or then maybe, how do you, how do you get along, then? Because it's like, they have they very... See, they don't see each other. No, but is but you can have one president represent everybody, so it's like, you oh, need to... Well, no, they're not. They're never going to get along. Like, no... There's never going to be a point in time where the entire country just agrees. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just ne- that's never going to happen. But what I was uh, what I was surprised about, because I actually looked at the population, like, there's legitimately more people in Metro Atlanta and versus the rest of the state of Georgia. I believe that. Which is wild. So, yeah, like, you don't, you, it's crazy when they went there, when they came down here, I was like, why are they trying to flip Georgia? But apparently, yeah, you don't have to. All you have to do is just show up to like a couple of counties in a state and they're like, oh, yeah, if we can swing this county, we get the entire state. That's crazy to me. Yeah, that, that's that's very much so crazy. But Trump is also losing the popular vote. So it doesn't matter. I do want to see what's going to happen because I do believe Trump is going to be one of those people who's like, oh, man, like I'm just staying in office. I don't care what anybody says. Yeah, but I don't. And I want to see what, what that looks like. I really, truly want to see what that looks Why like. Why do you want to see what that looks like? That's not good. Um. Not because I'm bored. I just want to see what it looks like. Boredom theory. Yeah, I'm just. I'm just I like bored. that. Boredom theory has been really hitting for me the last couple of weeks. I'm not gonna lie to you. But in a lot of instances where I was like, 
the only reason that's happening is because somebody was bored and nice. they decided that it was better to like what is he what else is he gonna do is he gonna go back to reality tv mm. uh, uh, rea- uh, uh real estate businesses mm. <sighs> nope golf probably probably golf oh, speaking of boy rp to um king vaughn wow otf yeah yeah rp rp man you know I never heard a single song of his ever in my life, but for real, yeah, never. They caught the dude, Lil Leaky. <coughs> yeah, in 4K too. They caught him in 4K. Yeah, Lil they Leaky. said it was like literally. They the, said never the trust clears. a nigga with a um with a Dickies T-shirt with a hoodie under it. Never trust him. Wait, this is a video of him getting shot. Yeah, yeah, in for f- real. Literally 4K. One of uh Quando Rondo's affiliates. Damn, I don't know what what he's saying right now. You know, Quando Rondo. Shot, I'm a bang on. You the guy that did like AK for his week. And my jaw be right. You know Quando Rondo? 22 shots to his dome, Michael Jordan. But, 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 but. Never heard that song? No, I've never heard Quando that. Quando Rondo, he from Georgia. You never heard it? Oh, is he? Yeah. Oh, I ain't know that. Wow. Yeah. But it was beefing. So one of his, they got in a fight, and I guess one of his affiliates pulled out the Blizzy. And, and did it in 4K, dead ass. Yeah. Like, clear as video. Clear as day. Clear as day. Not, they got, the, the police literally say it's the easiest. Murder case we was able to find. They got booked in 24 <laughs> hours. Like, he just really yeah. told himself. He's the only nigga wearing a hoodie and a dicky shirt. Like, nobody else is rocking that shit. Like, he just stood out. The police was like, oh, man, this is great footage. He they just, just, just glanced at it. it was like, oh, yeah, I saw that. I saw, I saw him right on the street. Oh, yeah. we got him. Yeah. They lie his ass up. That's wild, man. But, yeah, man. Um, and just like Peter. a few weeks ago, um, uh, Favi's uh, Suburban got shot up in Atlanta. Yeah. That so, shit is fucking crazy. Yeah, I know. Niggas no. be thinking Lena diabetic. It's not sweet. It's not. Oh, man. <laughs> not I sweet. I don't understand why people be um, bragging about that either. That shit is nothing to brag it's about. Nothing bro. to brag about. I know you you joking, but this dead ass people he be bragging like, bro, we not sweet on this side, son. No, nah, they don't. We not sweet. I mean, they think Atlanta's soft. I don't know what it is because how people the rappers dress and stuff. Like, you seen little little keys drip? No, no. Check that it is, out. That is a fact. That's two. That's two rappers who came down to Atlanta. And got shot within like a few months' time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all bugging, boy. That's why I'm be going to the city like that. I just stay at home, bro. I can't lose my life trying to mess with these hooligans. Yeah, just can't do it. Hooligans, bro. These hooligans, bro. Yeah. These hooligans will take your life for nothing. Correct. Oh yeah, they. No, there's something else. I thought it was they, they did it for like something real, real silly. But yeah, I can't do it. I can't be messing with these hooligans. Not yeah, that, that stuff is wild to me, man. Uh, but yeah, shout out to um. King Vaughn, RP, everybody who's associated with his family, friends, you know. Take That's like the second person that j- dropped the album and then died the same week. Bro, it's getting who's, crazy. Who's the I believe in Lou Pop Nighty. Smoke. Oh, I, I thought he dropped his after, but I, I, I guess mm, he oh, dropped yeah. the album and then died. Damn, that sucks. The irony though about it though, like you listen to his music, you live by the d- gun, you die by the gun. Like, yeah, I listened to a few. The stream put me on. No cap. Yeah, stream like, was just trolling me though. My bodies and smoking different type of packs of dead homies that are. You know what I'm saying? Oh man, oh man. Well, I just don't like. I don't. I don't want to hear that people um, passing away and stuff like that. Especially when you're in a position to uh, take care and um, yeah. really help out a lot of people. <clears throat> so, I mean, you know, just don't. I don't. I definitely don't condone living that life. But at the end of the day, you know, taking somebody's life away who's you know helping people out. Putting their family on. Shh, nah, I ain't trying to do that. Shh. Oh, yeah. Dave Chappelle. What do you do? SNL. He doing SNL. Is he really? Tonight. Are you for real? I'm serious. Oh, my <laughs> God. Why are, they, why are they blessing us like that? Oh, my God. Yeah, he's about to get the greatest. Oh, man. The greatest bit of all time, bro. Uh, I, I once, doubt once that. Trump is, once Trump is out? Yeah, I doubt that, bro. Oh, no, no, greatest no. of all time. What's his, what's his, which one immediately comes to your mind? Uh, the Ja Rule nine eleven bit, the one where Ja Rule went on a correspondent on TV, and he's like, "Nigga, who cares what Ja Rule thinks at a time like this?" He still might, he might, he might trump that. He might, he might trump that. He might trump that. <laughs> that shit was fucking all time, yo. No cap. Yeah, I got it. Easy. Yeah, I peeped it. I just didn't acknowledge it. I'm just, it was... I'm just saying, but he might trump that. Ah, you get it. You get it. John, you thought that was funny, maybe? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah me but neither. You got more time. Yeah. More time. yeah. I was hoping he would save it and come up with like a follow up joke. That wasn't funny. Or... I was looking at the screen. Oh, okay. All right, cool. I have headphones on. I don't hear nothing. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, Sorry. see, he ain't here. No, that's, that's the thing. He ain't mm, here. That's yeah. probably what it was, actually. Because nah, if he heard it, you would have been dying yeah. laughing. Over probably, yeah, probably. Yeah. You'd be exactly. Hey, why is that light not on? Damn. Turn that shit on, bro. And, and that makes a lot of difference, though. I know, so turn that shit on. Hold on, guys, hold on. Yo, talk, talk real quick. Hey man, Yo, talk, 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 talk. Yeah, I'm saying, what's talk up with y'all? Feel me? This is my last day of freedom. We're recording the podcast early, cause uh, I got my little Xbox and shit. You know what I'm saying? I got my little 2K. So uh, my grind has begun. You know what I'm saying? Titles, thumbnails, views, money, bags, gaming, competitive, movies, videos, and subscribers, baby. That's what's gonna be like. I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't look forward to launches anymore, because it's the most stressful period of all time for me. No, 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 no. Let's talk about uh, 2K. So, how you feel about next gen? You yeah. played it already, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. You played it already, right? Yeah, next gen, next gen, next gen, next gen. Yeah, yeah, yeah next gen. Next gen. So, what do you think the 2K community gonna like respond to that? Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, what about the gameplay? Yeah. 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 Uh huh. It's gonna be crazy gameplay, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Mind blowing gameplay. Yeah. What about the oh the graphics? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Shit, I'm be sweating all on that court. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. What about yeah. the physics? Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Geometry. The mechanics. Ooh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Exhaust pipes. Mm. That too. I'm glad we just you know ran through all those right there, man. We had a good talk about 2K. That's good. Why you not you not for real excited for um? The launch? I can't be excited for any launch of a game that I have to upload because it is, it is like twenty. Well, I'm talking about really launch of a new console, not. Launch no, I don't give a fuck about a new console. What? I play on PC, bro, where I literally have better specs than the console I just bought. But you, no, I'm, I'm talking about just in terms of content, because I mean, even though yeah, you're right, it's definitely just spec wise better PC. When a new console coming around, it's a new opportunity, new games. A new generation, you know what I'm saying? No, what games are coming out, bro? I mean, it's not right right now, but I'm just saying in the near future, like new games are going to be dropping with a new console. You got to figure out what they're doing. No, I, I couldn't really you care get less. Put, you get to put PS5 in your titles and it pulls. Yeah, you know. No, uh, none of that is interesting to me. I play already with better specs. I play <laughs> 200 frames, 144 hertz already. Um, by the time the next consoles come out and they could do that, uh, that'll be like breaking news in the five years. But I'm doing that currently, so I already experienced that. I know what the, how great that is. I, I'm excited for the PlayStation UI. Like, the UI looks dope, I guess. Um, not really, though. I'd rather play any game on, like, just, there's no reason for me to be on console except I have friends that play on console. If they ever fuck around and do crossplay for all games. And I just would never, I would never return a console. Actually, maybe for racing games um, and sports games, but that's about it. I don't really care though, bro. That would um, be crazy if they had crossplay. Yeah, most games are doing it. Uh, Apex just added crossplay. Um, I don't know. I'm, 2K kind of teased it. I, don't, I couldn't tell if Ryan LD did it on purpose or by accident on Twitter. Uh, but remember, they did the celebrity game in 2K19 when I played with uh, Kevin Garnett and Paul George. Yeah. And then you could see us on the court if you're on Xbox or PlayStation. So they already have that kind of technology existing already. So to implement it on a grand scale is possible. And with next gen, I'm hoping that they could do that because I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah, that'd be just blessed, bro. No cap. A lot of people buy consoles just so they could play with friends, right? Mm -hmm. And you can play with your friends regardless of which console you buy. That solves a lot of problems. Hell yeah. I'll buy Xbox. Yeah, your yeah. Xbox kind of guy. Yeah, I've always been at the box kind of guy. I love the box. Yeah, 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 and yeah. like the boxy designs and the UI too. Yeah, I love to get inside that box, rip that box open, and play with the box. Man. Yep, yep. I've always been about that Xbox. You feel me? I like how Xbox is just his whole motto was just play with it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, just experiment with it. Just see what works. Like especially when Madden came out, when that you know what I'm saying, so open the box and I hit EA Sports. It's in, in the, the game. game. Yeah, they haven't done that in two decades, but it's whatever. Yeah, man. <laughs> Crazy. I was about to say, I don't know, when the last time I heard that, it's uh, literally a generation or, of or, kids. Or the EA Sports. <laughs> Big. Remember that shit? It's definitely a generation of kids who never heard that before. Or used to play when the, uh, remember the, uh, we used to play that, the football, the, like, Blitz. 
NFL like Street? NFL Street when you was in the cage. I used to yeah. play war done. Oh, man. You used to fucking si- like clothesline people to them sidelines. The they need to bring that shit back. No cap. They need to bring that back with down. some high definition. 4K Street Four K. OB, OBJ with spikes <laughs> on his shoulder pads. <laughs> what? Can you imagine? Can you imagine? They missing the bag. For real, <laughs> but EA keep giving us a dumbass Madden game in NBA Live. Tragic, 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 tragic. Hey, stop talking shit, bro. That shit is really fucking. Why are you always being so negative, stop. bro? Yo, EA, stop wasting money and give us um street street ball back, bro. Oh, and I shit. bet that radio will pull mad views on street YouTube ball. Too. Man, that would be hard. What? I remember it's street ball. Street ball? You talking about NBA Street? Yeah. Like with Carmelo Anthony, you had the big, t- you do the like the, when you get, when you can fill your bar up, you get the morph mode. Yeah. You know what I'm <laughs> talking about? This guy is so fucking old, bro. So. God damn. It's called Game Breaker, man. It's NBA yeah, Street. Yeah, 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 yeah. I broke the game. Right. Yeah, yeah. Game Breaker. I mean, basically yeah, I what games in a minute, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was a jet. This nigga said when you fill up your meter and you transform. Like nigga, what? morph. He said morph. Technically, oh, you said morphed. I mean, like I used to get Carmelo Anthony. I filled my bar up, and then like he kind of hit this weird little pose, and the ball get hot, and then he started dancing on the court with the dribbles. Like, yeah, like yeah. dunking yeah. everything. You throw it off the glass, you get points. You know what I'm talking about? Oh yeah, it's, it's yeah. Yeah. Back in the day, <laughs> man. Back in the day, used to love that game, man. What about uh home court? Nah, I never wasn't a really fan of home court. I know, just nobody was. It was straight trash. Yeah, I think looking back now, people gassed it up too much. But I remember at the time, nobody fucked with it. Hey, Lo, let's talk about this real topic that everybody just wants to get into, man. You know, since since you've been like hiding from it and shit like that. Why are you holding the podcast back? Because how am I holding the podcast back? Because your girl wants to be on the podcast. And she's downstairs right now, but for some reason she's not up here talking with us, conversing with us. Look, bro, she don't want to be on the podcast, bro. I don't know, bro. She was on Twitter saying she she did want to be on the podcast. No, that's all trolls. I don't think it was. That's man. all trolls. I bro. I know her, low, and I I, I really no, do. you know what? I know her, man. No, you don't. Lo, I think what's her I, name? It's Jeanette. Exactly. You don't know. Her. If she don't want to be on the podcast, why has she been standing here for like ten minutes? Literally. You could come on if you want. You come in if you want to. Nah, don't don't she worry about him. Out. Yeah, cause you got her, man. That's fucked up. Look, I just want you to know that you holding the podcast back. You know, what I'm saying at a massive level, people just want to get to know you better. You feel me? And what better way to know you than the girl that you're in a relationship with? You know, so crazy. What's up? I actually thought she was there for a second. I was like, Wait, what? <laughs> Oh, I got that ass. Dude, I, I knew I got that ass. I see it in your glasses. Oh, I got that ass. Funny, y'all funny, yeah. bro. Um, but you know she don't want to. She don't want to be on the road. Don't worry about it, bro. She don't want to be here, man. You Damn. Know, I'm 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 doing the same thing you doing. Remember when you told the podcast back? You was in a fake relationship. That wasn't a relationship like, though. Exactly. I'm saying that was a that fake was, relationship. That was casual. And you still didn't want to put it on the podcast, bro. Yeah, I'm saying that man. was nothing serious. That was nothing real. I knew for but, a fact it wasn't gonna last. It's not one to one though. And what's crazy is she was the girl. In the, the girl. Right, she was the girl the I was room. talking to. She, was she in wasn't the room for one of the podcasts. You're trying to flip it and talk over me nah. as to not drown out nah. my point. Below, your girl wants to be on a pod though. She wanted to be in the podcast too. No, she didn't. She was in the room while we was recording one of the episodes. Yo, she could tell me a lot about you. A lot we don't know. We could really get to know Mar- Marcel today, man. Get the info uh, on low. Yeah, no. What goes down in the dungeon? We don't know. We, don't we know dead know ass this. do not know, bro. She could let us know. Like when he uploads one video all month, like she could <laughs> she could let us know what the fuck he's been up to. You know she's been grabbing your ass or not, too. I think you're holding back. Okay. Yeah, yeah, because right. you started off yeah, with that you conversation. Yeah, you started off with that, like, like you just got uh, done grabbing uh, it. Yeah. You know what I'm <laughs> like right before you came up here. Ha-ha, uh-huh, that's funny. Uh-huh. <laughs> Y'all good? Y'all I just, I'm just, I mean, you know what I'm At the end of the day, Lo, you know what I'm saying? I just want you to open up. I want you to feel comfortable opening up on this podcast. Um. Yeah, man. So, I mean, you don't have to respond. I don't want to put you on the spot or nothing like that. I'll wait till you get comfortable. But just know, until then, you're holding the podcast back. Like I said, she don't want to be on the podcast, bro. You know. Plus, I don't think they're ready to see her anyway, too. Oh, uh, you know what? Put it on the audience. They're not ready. Good call. No, I'm just saying, I don't think they're really ready. Yeah, they probably aren't. Yeah, I don't think they're really ready. Yeah, you're right. I think they, I actually don't think they want to see her. I think they just want to, you know, just chill. See that we can talk about somebody else, someone else. You know what I'm saying? 
I don't think so, man. Yeah, that's it, bro. That's it. I don't think so. I don't think so. You know, so. like, what, like your dating, your, what's, what's going on in your dating life, bro? I mean, you can change the topic, but just remember, you're still holding the paw back. No, I'm just saying, what's going on in your dating life, bro? It's the same shit. Has something led you to believe that something's changed? Yeah. You gonna ask me what? Oh, okay. All right. All right. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. You silent over there now, boy. I'm Why are you acting bashful? I don't know what that adjective means. Shy. Have I ever been shy around you? Come on. Tell us, tell us what's going on in your, in your love life. I'm telling you right now, literally nothing has changed. <clears throat> Stop, bro. Stop, bro. You're not going to act like you were being vulnerable to me last night, bro. I literally haven't talked to you at all because you've been coughing and I don't want to get sick stop, before 2K drops. Stop, stop, bro. You, you're not going to act like we was on the phone for for an hour and a half? Most, most definitely was not on the phone for an hour and a half for somebody. <sighs> Fuck I look like, man. Somebody who was in their feelings? Imagine somebody, me and my feelings. Somebody was caught up. You're like, bro, she ain't texting me back, bro. <laughs> she ain't texting me back. Bro. I'm not going to lie, love. You ever see me like that, bro? If you ever see me just like, just just concerned about uh, trivial shit like a text back, then you should know that's when I should be pulling the plug. You know what I'm saying? I should be, I should like have my phone privileges taken away and a lot of my freedom restricted. Feel me? So, you know, give, me, give me your phone right now, bro. For what? Because you were texting me that, bro. Hmm? You were texting me. You was like, yo, what, what do I say right here? Oh, no, there was a girl I just matched with, and I was like, I don't know what to say to her. She don't have nothing interesting in her bio. <laughs> <laughs> Worst thing in the world, bro. Nah, but usually Worst I know what thing. I just I know some shit to say, but it was just I was stuck, man. You ever get stuck, John? No, nah, not really though. Mm. You, you just know, always know what the fuck to you say. Always just gotta say, you gotta just you gotta be different though. You know what I'm saying? You can't hit it with the haze and the emojis. That's what every nigga do. You gotta be different. You gotta be like, if a platypus and a beaver got in a fight, who will win? Now she gotta think about that shit. Most time, bitches don't know what a platypus is, so they gotta <laughs> Google it. So now they think of like it's literally a show about. It was, you know a, it was a popular platypus show, though. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people don't know. They didn't know that Perry was a platypus. I mean, it was. They said it. It was literally in the name of the show. Yeah, it was in the name, but you know, I said people miss the stuff. <laughs> no, nah, that's good though. I, I do weird shit like that all the time. They like that stuff. It's funny. Uh, you're cute, they already gonna like you. Now they know you're cute. Yeah, but then no, you also get a chance to know like if they have any bit of fun in them because if. If like if yeah, I text some weird funny shit and then she don't laugh at it, I'm just going. And I'm like, yeah, we actually don't have anything else to talk about because we're not gonna understand <laughs> each other whatsoever. That's real shit, bro. Yeah, I don't know about that. Well, I ain't got no problems with that. You know, I'm in love, so I ain't worried about that type of Wait, stuff. How did you get her, Lo? What'd you say? How'd you shoot your shot? Yeah, in fact, pull the text, pull yeah. the original what text shit? out, <laughs> and break this sell? shit down did for everybody. Sell? I feel like he's he probably like, yeah, I will buy you a Birkin bag or something, man. <laughs> I I hey, I you, send you to your ooh, favorite destination. Hey, you know how I had to do. You know, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Uh, I played it cool. You know, I was like, "Yo, what's, what's up?" She was like, "Oh no, she hit me up first. It was, it was on both. She hit me up first. Say swear, twin." And she was like, "She was like, yo, you cute." I was like, "What's up?" I just hit her with a "What's up?" She was like, "What you What you doing?" I was like, "Chilling." She was sweating me. You know, she was sweating me. He doubled back a couple more texts, and I was like, all right, whatever. Give him my number. <laughs> I was good after that. <laughs> then she swept me again. <laughs> text back real, like, mad quick. Yeah. They were the quickest. She told hey, me. Told you know, me there's two sides to every story, right? The and second we, half is downstairs. It, and we could get that we side. Get that side. We could get story. that side. Like, she was so, sweaty, you right? Huh? She was press prior. Yeah, she was sweating me for real. And, and you know what? We could clip this moment right here, and then and then when she get on the pod, though, just show it to her and be like, it just "Is this how it went down?" And I show her the video, like, "Is this how it went down?" We get the truth, man. You we get you to were the sweating, like. Lowe's texting her right now. Don't no, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm gonna, don't I'm gonna... read Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, hey, is that what's happening uh, right now? No, no, I'm about, I'm about to tell you uh, which call I'm, I'm about to show you what uh, what I said, bro. Cause All right, fine. Uh, I'm actually kind of curious. I'm not going to lie. Why? Why you I feel like it's pretty self-explanatory. I'm not going to lie. Why, bro? Why, why you, why? You, yeah. want, you want to steal my game? I guarantee you I don't need game from you, Lo. Stop. Why do you do that? I guarantee that. I, I, a year ago, you, did, you had little game. I guarantee that. Stop, bro. Me but, and Davis made The fact you, that bro. you had to quote a year ago, that shit is oh. sad. You, you mean to tell me... After I left hibernation for three years and made a lot of money and got to where I wanted to my career, me after I did all of that, 
Of course, I had no game low. I was yes, working. So what are you talking about? But you quoted me from last year. I'm talking about right now, though. Yeah, everything you're doing right now, I I'm I made you, boy. You was just asking me how do I respond? How do I reply then, to someone? And then you responded, I don't know. Yeah, because that she was boring. Because <laughs> she, she sound because she sound boring as hell. So I can't. Yeah, I can't, you said, I you can't s- hang on that one. I can't help you. You said you started that shit like but you had ones, all the answers. All the, all the other ones you you be swinging through here. You know what I'm saying? Like I got you on that, bro. Hello. I don't, I don't forget he said Davis too. He said him and Davis. Ke- Davis, we, we've already we've already had this conversation. Davis, I haven't seen Davis with. A yeah, female. do you remember the A and P video? Do you watch the A and P video where Davis <laughs> was like? Just said, I, I ain't never seen Davis with a female. I haven't. I I me neither. I swear on my life, bro. I, I swear on my life. I've, like not even a cousin. Yo, like, why, why are y'all disrespecting this man? Is this dog a female or a boy? It's a guy. I haven't seen one. So I just, his mom. I haven't seen her either. So I guess she don't see him. No, nah, I have seen like, his mom a few times, actually. I haven't seen her. Y'all disrespectful, bro. What you mean? I haven't seen her. Not one. Not like a... Not texting none. Not like... Hold on. Oh, no, no, no. He showed me some text before. He showed me some text before. They, all right. Yeah, that's kind of... That's low-key kind of corny. I ain't gonna hold you. What? I'm never gonna show text to somebody. No, I asked. I asked. Because I... Uh, like, he brought it up. I'm like, still very really gonna uh, show somebody. Yeah. Like, ooh, this is the girl right here, Ashley. That like, means you don't like get that, that many. Like, huh? No, no, yeah, no, 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 no. You do shit like that, that for sure means you, you don't do not get that. It that came means up, you just got something. It came you up just, in conversation. No, literally. it's not like he went out of his way, bro. I'm not trying to make him seem corny. It just came up in conversation. I was like, hold on, nigga. You, you show me something then. You know what I'm saying? Let me see what you let me see That's what you're talking corny. about. That's still corny. Let me see what you spitting, Davis. Hold on now. Let me see what you're talking about today, man. That's still corny. Let me show you my text message real quick. All right, go ahead. Let's see Lowe's game. I'm not gonna lie to you, it's like two different worlds though. Like texting is one world and then linking is like another world. It you is. Feel I feel me? like texting is harder. For me, For me it is. is. Yeah. In the, I'm in the better in person. In the beginning is yeah, I, I can imagine you better in person. I'm better in person. Like I can like, well, all three I can imagine all three of us are better. Yeah, in just way better like, in person. Like, within like reaching distance, yeah, I'm fucking. <laughs> Keep that in there too. No, hey, hey, actually, Dodie, gang, gang, gang. This, don't say no gang, gang, gang after that. Actually, out of everything that we say, cut out. That is something that legitimately we need to discuss after the podcast and cut out. Hey, yo, make it don't. John, you good, bro? <laughs> bro, I'm never been better, brother, brethren. Hey, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, yeah, that shit is the text shit. Yeah, I was we, very, we, very we bad at it. Keep going. But I, I got way better at the text shit. Now I'm valid at the text department. I just, like, I might disappear for a couple of weeks. And I didn't realize, like, how big of a deal that was. But listen, you know what I'm saying? Oh, that's major, bro. No. I lost a lot of baddies doing that. I didn't think, like, when you be busy, they don't understand it. They think you're talking to another female. Like, yeah, yeah. you're a man of statue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They think you're talking to another girl. Talk so your shit, John. Go ahead. Say something. Back, you uh-huh. know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah I'm going to stand up, too. Go ahead, John. Stand my up. My movable. Yeah. yeah. yeah I'm, <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm on my feet. Yeah. Yeah. So when you leave a girl, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now she feel like you're talking to another girl, uh-huh. right? And then when you come back, this would have been working for a couple of weeks, right? Just get this on your grind because she says she don't want a broke nigga, but I can't talk to you all the time. So which one do you want? Money. Which one do you want? A broke? You know a broke? And that's it right there. That, that's, that's the, the point. That's, that's the, the point. point right yo, there. yo, real shit. That, that way? That way. That way. Which way? That way. Yo, that real way. shit. Real shit. Real shit. That's actually full like, facts. No cap. No, no, no. But I tell now from now on, I tell girls off rip. Like, I'm not good when it comes to like, you not can get responses from me. Uh... And then, luck, hopefully, like, if she's also busy, then she'll understand. But if she actually has never been busy before, she won't know that I'm telling the truth. She'll think I'm capping. See, that's me and my girl yeah. right there, bro. She busy, too, so she understands. Yeah, we're... I'm thing. talking to... Yeah, one of the girls I'm talking right now, I don't have to explain to her. Like, if I just hit her back the next day, it won't be a problem. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so you met somebody like that? Yeah. You finally? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This shit is refreshing. Okay. Was that <laughs> the other one you brought in, like, three days ago? Why you keep saying shit out loud? Why you keep volunteering information? My bad. I just, you know, I be getting them mixed up. Oh, that's when you told me that you. Why are you? Well, hold oh, on right, now. Right, Don't right, pretend right. like. Why are you just, pretending like I just bring in people every day or something? Just air it out. <laughs> <laughs> just let no, it rip. Not, What's up with this guy, bro? It's, it's, not, it's, not, it's, not, it's not every day. It's like every other day, something like that. Okay, that's but. It's no it, better. It's, <laughs> it's just every other day. It's not. That's just not true, though, bro. Yeah, I mean. Why are you spitting non truths right now? You're trying to rush it out before launch. You know, you just. No, nah, I did link up with somebody yesterday because I was like, I'm not gonna do this again for a few weeks. So mm. I probably would have. But um, how was that? It was cool. It was cool. Would you? Would y'all do? <laughs> you asking too many questions, man. I just asked what y'all do. That's it. That's, that's, oh, that's literally all. That's I such a personal oh, question. This thing. Why he asking personal questions? Yo, you on oh. the podcast, man? Yeah, he asking oh. real personal questions. Yo, you questions. on the podcast, man? No. 
I put nah, my toes just... on you right now, boy. You on the podcast, man? No, you won't. Oh, hold on, I don't want to. I won't. You won't. This nigga John. Don't get Dwayne. <laughs> you're literally sick. Don't get near me. No, no, but John, but John egging me on right now, bro. I don't care. John doing that on like, purpose. Because you, you know for a fact I'll get him and I'll put my feet on you, bro. Okay, hey, I know you I'll want. I'll put my toes on you, bro. We play toesies right now, boy. I don't I don't really know how to respond to that. I'm not going to lie. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. What y'all do, bro? I never been. I never had that offer before. I'm not going to lie to you. It's not an offer. I'm just going to do it. Hey, hey, no cap. Today was my last day to get a pedicure and I didn't have time. What am I do? Yo. Answer the question. What you do, bro? Um, we went to a skate room. Um, you know what I'm saying? It was oh, in Cum- Cumberland. Is just open, like even mad late. Crazy. So man. Uh, we was just chilling there for a bit. You know what I'm saying? Good vibes. Uh, mm. and everything was closed, so we just came back here and cut. Oh, what y'all cook? It was horrible. I'm not gonna lie. It dried out elk. Like we just kept it in there too long. Like it was well, well, well done. <laughs> Wait, say that. <laughs> like it was. It was extra done. Elk. elk. It was elk, elk and yeah, buffalo. I, I saw Joe Rogan talking about elk. I know I'm not touching no real money. I've never had elk. Yeah, it's it's like triple the price of beef, but it tastes <coughs> worse. <laughs> but Joe Rogan eat it, so I try. I had to try it at least. That's like, that's it's like it's lean, deer? like a bougie deer. Yeah, yeah. Actually, that's exactly that's exactly what it's like. No, it's, it's, not, it's not it's not lean though. It's just no. Exactly. It's very lean. Elk is very lean. Oh, it is. Yeah, elk is very very lean. Pretty strong creatures. Yeah, all protein, but you could tell he lift he lifts for a living or she. I don't want to discriminate. Big, and that big ass, they got big any. ass antlers on their head, so they, your neck got to be strong. I want to eat a moose now that you said that. I want to see what, what, a, what, a, what a moose tastes Cajun like. Cajun moose nuggets? Can you nuggets? imagine you put Cajun what? seasoning? What? Cajun moose nuggets? Nuggets. That sounds incredible to me oh, personally. Like sauteed moose hooves? Really? That's that, this is that at People all? People actually eat hooves though. Crazy. That ass. Oh, that sounds nasty. Yeah. Nah, but... um. And frog toes? Frog toes. Nah, I try whatever though, to be honest with you. I try squid and, and octopus. And Do you eat deer penis? Say it again. Just make sure the mic caught it. Deer penis. Would you eat a penis of another animal? You say you would try anything, so I'm just asking you. <laughs> That's what you just said. And that shit low-key definitely lean. The amount of muscles that we that shit lean, bro. Especially if you kill it on hard. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> okay. Yo, eating a hard dick is crazy. <laughs> Yo, yeah, nigga, yeah, that's chill, chill. number of protein. Chill, 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 chill. That's chill. number of protein. Nah, we not diving in this conversation, bro. Nah. No, 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 no. And, and had it, you can have it. Um, balls on the side like hush puppies. <laughs> Yo, you good? That's nothing but protein, my guy. Yo, you good right now? Yo, think about that though, John. No cap. If a nigga no, wanna I, throw on some extra muscle, like just just no, straight muscle, don't, I don't agree with the 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 uh trumpies. Yeah, none of that or the the main course. <laughs> I'm just laughing at Asia's face. Yeah, that's disgusting. <laughs> but you just say you'll eat anything. I, I I like like I thought maybe you'd be like organ meats, maybe a heart, maybe a liver, but you went right to dick. So that so I let me all right. So I, don't, I don't know what that says about you, so bro. Answer, I'm not gonna lie to you. So answer, would you? Hey, did you, How ever, about just a tip? did you ever pull up those texts? How about just a tip? The tip. Did you oh, ever pull up, he tried to finesse. You ever pull up those texts, bro? I'm asking you, just a tip? You do the tip? No. Pull up those texts, man. I so want to see what kind of game answer, you answer, but I, apparently I got to give out texts. But all right, bro. You know what I'm saying? Right now, you asking questions about elk penis. So, <laughs> yeah, Lo, I'm not going to answer that shit, bro. She said, uh, she said first, this is the first one. She said, yo, what's up, cutie? She was sweating me, my nigga. I like what up, you know what I'm saying? And what another what's up? I can't like, tell if you're uh, trolling. What you mean? You started a convo. What's up? Yeah, I said what up. Goddamn. Like, how do you spell it? W a h. W a what? What up? What duh? Like that? You said you said it just like that. Yo, yeah. low. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. <sighs> Keep going. I want. I want to analyze this right here. Actually, take screenshots we put on screen. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> stop, bro. I told her, I'm about to go record a podcast. No, nah, we was getting it down. We was Off down. rip, you told her that? I was busy. Was like, all right, you know, I got Off time. rip? You might not have no. Okay, all right, keep going. I'm in love and you're not. So what you talking about? What you talking about right now? But I'm not what in you talking per- about right now? I'm not in pursuit of love, though. But when you want to get there, like, this is what you got to do, bro. Trust me. <laughs> I just had to say you what's gotta be, up. You got to be transparent. No, nah, no, nah, say it right. What up? Say it, say it. Nobody says that though. Yeah, nobody says that. You like, in love? Maybe like in you Windows, in, love? Me, in like in love? Windows Live oh, Messenger hey, 2005. Hey, you in love? 
I mean, if I was in love, I love my mom, but I, I wouldn't say that. Well, your mom, you and your mom got different dynamic, bro. What? What up? Yeah. Like, but so, you're like, no, now every time if I spell like that, I'm going to hear it like that. That's how you, that's how it need to be. Hey, keep going, bro. What else what you up? saying? Say it, say it, say it. I'm not going to say it. You ain't trying to be in love. This is based off the fact that I don't want to be in love, so. Okay. Yeah, don't say that shit. You say what up like that? And she just fall in love. You in love, Yeah, bro. I don't even want that kind of effect on the woman right now. Um. Then she was like, yo, I was feeling you on Bumble. I was like, yeah, say less. Did she really say that? Come on now. You want to see my text? <laughs> anyway, she was like, yo, let's link. I okay, like, he's lying. I was like, 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 when? I was like, when was Yeah, but there's no woman that's gonna say let's link. <laughs> I was like, I was like, yo, I was like, that yo, when what's what what's on? She was like, ASAP. I was like, oh shit, say less. I, I was kind of expecting a real answer. Why? Okay. Well, one, you have your phone in your hand and you're looking at it. I am looking at it too. And so then just tell us what it says, Lo. I'm about to start crying looking at this shit, bro. Just the beginning, man. What, nigga? I remember when you was talking. <laughs> he said, what, nigga? <laughs> I remember uh-huh. when you was talking bear shit about her. He was like, man. I'm just gonna fuck, and I was like, "Lo, don't say that about women, bro. That's that's kind of messed up." You also heard we already had a conversation. What? I told her I was like when I first man, I was just trying to fuck. Oh, I was just joking. I just wanted to fuck. I never had that combo with you. Nah, yeah, we did. We had a conversation. No, we did not. The way we be degrading women behind the cameras. I never do that shit. S- stop! I'm not a part of that. Yeah, you are. No. <laughs> I got no. low charge what? Drinks. No, I love women. I mean, Rex, we all, we I got, all love women. No, 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 I got nothing but love. We for all women. straight here, right? <laughs> why you say it like that? Hey, stop trying to drag everyone into your fucking troll, bro. Nah, I'm just saying, like, yeah, why yo, are you surrounding yourself with fucking pillows I, like that? Actually, like, I didn't like these pillows in the beginning, but I actually like them now. God damn. Yo, um, I mean, I just said, what up? She said, what up? She said, let's link. We linked up. We linked up like some bracelets. What happened? We're recording a podcast, and Waleed and my brother are throwing things out a window right now. That's how bored they are. Actual boredom. I hope it doesn't crack a window, because that would be tragic. That was a big-ass rock. Yeah, they, they threw a boulder at the window. Just throw a rock and come in <laughs> and crush your toes. Because <laughs> you didn't have to slap the shoes off. <laughs> you comments to talk about something. I told y'all I put on some fucking socks, well, how'd man. How'd you lose your big toe? Yeah, I'm not going to lie to y'all. Y'all going to have to get used to feet, because there's, there's nothing weird about that. Bro. That's just regular. That's, That's just like us putting on mitts because we have our fingers out. Yeah, it's just like we're in our house right now. Mm. Anyway, um, you probably want to close the door? Nah, because you have COVID, so can't. I, I I don't actually. Oh, you have some kind of sickness. No, nah, you can still close the door. Anyway, um, no, nah, I mean, honestly, it's not too far removed what, what happened. You said, what's up? Change numbers. Um, then we got in there, got a little bit more personal, told each other about a, each other, you know what I'm saying? Got to really know her a little, not really know, but know a little bit of, like a little appetizer, you know what I'm mm. saying? Then we said, who said it first? You said I, what? I, I love I just, you? No. No. What's up with you? I don't know how far ahead we are on this no, timeline. What's up, what's up with you? I don't you? know how what's far up? ahead we are, man. What's up with you, bro? Who said, um. She didn't say let's link, though. Did I say it? Yeah, bro. Girls, <laughs> girls that just give you hints they want to link. Yeah. They don't. Like, they don't ever. Yeah, they don't ever. Soft s- as your bed. <laughs> How big is your TV? What's What's the diameter of your room? Like, you I don't know. Yo, that? what What is it about that? So, like, let's say, um, let's say, like, you talking to a girl, right? And right. she got like this fucking hoodie on, or she just got some thick on, like a coat or something, right? Some thick, like, yeah. she can't take off the coat. Like, it, it would be against her like code to take off the hey, coat. Hey. So she has to be like. It's getting kind of hot in here. And then I'll have to be like, oh, you just take off your coat. Like, that's how she takes off the coat is by my suggestion. Even though she want to do it, she just wait for me to say it type shit. That um, makes sense? Girls like to be told. It's like, it goes back to like 1975 B.C. Like with oh, kings man. and shit. Like, <laughs> you know, like, all right. All right. All right. Yo, all right. what? <laughs> all right. No, but he's literally really about to say girls like to be told what to do. They do like, like there's a man. plenty of times where they don't want, no, they don't want nobody be like. Okay. No, there's plenty of times where she like I've been talking to a girl and she'll wait for me to tell her some shit yeah. that she wants to do, but she can't do it though because she waiting for me to give her a reason to do it. Like for somebody? example, like when if let's say I want to bring someone over, right, and mm-hmm. it's their first time they never came over before, 
Like, you have to actually come up with a reason. Even if she wants to go to your house, she'd be like, why, why are we going to your house? I mean, I'll grab some snacks, watch a movie, catch some vibes. Like, we can't catch a movie like this. She'll think of re like, I don't know why we have to play that game. Like, no, you want to come to the crib. She, it's fine. I, mean, I get that, but she, no, she might not. She just may think like, oh, she probably think I'm just easy. So why do we got to hurry up and go to your house? It's just the belief of like when we go, when I'm going over a dude's house. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying though. That that that's the mindset, but she still wants to come through. Maybe, okay. maybe not. She may not. She may just want to be like understand like what exactly are we doing? Like, like let's get something clear like of what like what exactly is about to happen. So you just had to give a good reason though. Girls think they want to step ahead no. of you. So you gotta you got you gotta plan like they stupid. So you invited to the crib, right? <laughs> and she know what she wants. Sean. She knows she wants you to do. She Sean. think you want to fuck, but you don't fuck. And then you take her back home. You know what I'm saying? Because everything I'm doing at the movies, <laughs> I can do at my house. I got Skittles at my house from last Halloween. I got Netflix. Why are we going to the movies? John. Every girl likes Skittles. That's a, uh, Especially the fun size, so I don't have to buy the whole pack. The share size, the, the family yeah. packs, is, that's too much. Exactly. That's Maybe too much. Family I, size. If I'm opening up a, 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 a small snack size of Skittles <laughs> and I'm watching, like, I gotta keep opening them up. You'd be like, like here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. That's OD. It's all no. about the portion, too, but I, don't, I wanna. Yeah, I swear. It's like five Skittles in like a fun size. I gotta keep opening them up while I'm watching a movie. Now it's 18. No, it's not. Want to bet? He's just talking, bro. Nah, yeah, he's, <laughs> yeah, he's, he's just talking. No, nah, but that that's like Yo, it's, snack it's, size is about the same size as a condom wrapper. There's no way 18 being fit in there, bro. No, no, these shorts is way too short. No, so no, nah, 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 I want to see. If the top comment is about these shorts, I can't. Like, yo, bro, I have no shorts left. Nah, I want to see around. your legs, no, bro. bro I don't want stop. you to see my legs. I see your knees. Yo, this is. I'm gonna save this for marriage, bro. Yo, you got smooth knees, that dead ass. Hold on, low. What's up with you, bro? Yo, dead. Yo, aren't your knees ashy, John? A little bit. I don't know. Pull it, pull up your legs real quick. Pull no, your don't, legs. don't. No. All right, we're gonna move on from this I'm conversation. Not. We're not <laughs> talking about. He said, he said no, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what you put on your? You put shea butter on your knees? Nah, I got this little uh, like Brazilian bum bum cream. Oh, you know what I'm saying? It should go crazy. It smooth, bud. It go crazy, yeah. So I like that. I, I dropped it. Yo, actually, you know it's crazy. People's getting real bold on Instagram now. Somebody's like, yo, agent. <laughs> yeah, don't look at your lips and look directly <laughs> in my eyes. Damn. Somebody on Instagram. I'm looking at you. I'm looking at your knees. So, somebody. <laughs> Somebody hit me. I was like, "Yo, agent, what's your skincare routine?" <laughs> like, why are you hitting up? Why are you hitting up? Yo, 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 <laughs> yo! What you doing? Stop, bro! Stop being bashful. What you doing? <laughs> yo, dead ass. She said. She said we should get food one day. She said that first. She suggested it. Yeah. This is how I had to do it. Like, See, my baby different. She different. Yeah, this is how she I had like to do it. I had to girls, be like, you know what I'm saying? I'd be like, I'm, so let's, first of all, I had to think she's going to say yes first. You know what I'm saying? Some women is just like, they don't even actually want to link. They actually just only want to text. Yeah, yeah. Those people you just stop talking to. Because um, I, I don't need a text, buddy. You know what I'm saying? Last pen pal I had was in grade five. It was a waste of time. You got a pen pal? Yeah, we like did a, it. Like a legit pen pal? Swear. All, <laughs> all year long, our class would send like notes to some, some other class. And, and it was like, Oh, 15 minutes away. Bored, bored. I thought you meant like no, no, no. Like our teacher arranged it though. Like it was part of a class thing. <clears throat> okay. So like we would send, like we would write the letter and then we would give it to the teacher. The teacher would deliver it to that class and vice versa. We would get letters, and then we ended up meeting at this fucking park and it was just awkward as shit. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, bro. I was so gassed, nigga. I was like, yo, yo, I can't wait to hit this part, bro. <laughs> and it, and it, it was so awkward. I was just like, I didn't even fuck with, like, I wasn't even talking to her. I just like, I was just uh-huh. fucking with my friends. I was like, we just gonna play on this side, and y'all gonna go play on that side. And Ain't that crazy though? <laughs> you were having a blast with her when she was your pen pal. Y'all niggas met at Iron World. He was like, I don't know you. So what's going on, yo? Yeah, word. They didn't prepare us for that. I feel like they should have, though. That should have been part of the... All right, that pillow has COVID, so I'm just going to... Yo, um, baby, you were sweating me. That, that has no facts. No, um, no cap. Is she watching this part of the yeah, pod? Yeah, she do. She, she watch it, yeah. So I got to be careful what I say. No, you can say whatever you want to say. Because um, she know you a troll, so that's cool. I don't troll. I have not trolled around her ever, ever. You just literally, before we said, yo, come do the pod. I w- that was being serious. I stop, literally called you. Mom, stop. That was a serious offer. Stop. That you rejected because you don't stop. know the best interest of this stop. podcast. Stop. Stop. Actively working against our best interest for your own personal gain. Stop. Stop. 
Stop. Absolutely preposterous. Stop. Preposterous. Stop, stop, stop. Hey, no cat low. You really want on a podcast, don't you? Nah, it would be cool, though. I would definitely troll, but, like... <laughs> <laughs> like, I definitely troll, but uh, it would be cool though to have her on the pod, man. She you know wanna, she wanna meet you first. She's met me though. No, she wouldn't like sit down and talk to you about what? Figure out like your life goals. I'm I'm not in the relationship with her, so she. I know, but like you, I mean, you kind of, sort of, you know, we're, be, we're best acquaintances, you know. So she needs to know my goals. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? See if you're good for me. Oh. <laughs> See if you're hey, good for me. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, she, she been, she was putting the moves on me first. No cap. Um, right. But I'm just that type of, you know. Now, nah, you know that's how I give it up. Most most of the women I talk to that make the first move end up being like real masculine, which is cool. Like in like a friendly, they're fun to be I was around. About to say type of way. Yeah. But then is not cool in the like long term relationship type of way. Does that make yeah. sense? You was someone who's submissive. Kind a little bit though. Not nah, a little bit or more submissive than masculine. Uh it like good balance would be nice. Okay. But I mean if you had a preference, if you couldn't get a perfect fifty fifty. I don't know. I don't I've never really You want somebody submissive. Bro. Nah, if you're too submissive, a lot of the time you're real boring. You choke near sex? Sometimes. You choke, John? Yeah, yeah. You ever like you ever like not yeah, have like a fuck, good yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, Matt, grab, grapple, airborne, okay, grab the floor, back to the bed. <laughs> do RKOs yeah. off the turnbuckle. Through the table. <laughs> through the table. I had a big girl one time, I took it to the granite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she liked that. She was sore that morning, though, but she told her friends about me. Yo, have you ever fucked and woke up the next morning sore? Uh, no. I woke up with a black eye one time, but I was drunk. Man, you got fucked up, <laughs> bro. God damn, man. You, you ever woke up next morning or you got done fucking and you like sore? No, like I was just trolling by the black eye. Your knees and your thighs? I was just trolling by the black eye. Yeah, I didn't wake up no black eye. Like your, your, um, <laughs> your, knees, <laughs> your knees and your thighs are like sore? Uh, nah, nah. I've, I've definitely fucked like to my knees a week. No I mean, your what? My knees are weak. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's heavy. Knees weak. Vomit already. He was vomiting on a sweater already. I did. I did. I did. I did. I did. But on the service, he looks calm and ready to drop hey. bombs. But he keeps on forgetting what he wrote down. The whole mm. crowd rolls so loud. He mm. opened his mouth, but the words won't come mm. out. He's choking now. Mm. Everybody's. I don't know the rest of the shit. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, that was my favorite songs growing up. I watched 8 Mile. And then, you know that fucking scene? Where, like, he fucked, like, in the, at work with the, uh, Oh yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. I fucked that white girl in the work, like in the in the tuck. Yeah, that shit caught me off guard the first time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, weird nigga. Yeah, you know say and then and then how and many then, times you rewatch that though? That scene. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. A lot. Yo, you're a weirdo. Yo, you're a weird. No, you know what's weird? You ever watch a movie with your mom and titties come out? Like, I yo, bro, yes. so and that's uncomfortable. The most, and the and you be sitting right there, and you just got to look forward like you don't see it. Yeah, I'll be like, I'll be like, mom, like, are we not fast? My, my parents this part? would usually say something though. They'd be like, don't look. <laughs> so, no, so like, my mom don't say that. They watch it. I sit there and I see them. I see them dead, like jiggling too. Like, but I don't want to turn my head. Like, I enjoy. it. I'm kind of like looking around. Like, I'd be I'll like, yeah, I wasn't phone. even looking at the TV. I just. Like so what about titties. the weather? Like, what, is this school? We could talk about school. I just, I be dead ass. Be like, are we not fast forwarding this part? Like, this clearly like, isn't for me right now. So. Like, mom, I don't remember you asking me how school was today. You want to talk about that right now? <laughs> Let's talk about that. Let's talk about my grades. <laughs> what's, what's going on on the screen right now? I don't. Uh, yeah, no, I don't that's feel comfortable. That'd be wild if you start. No, nah, I'm not gonna say that's too much. That's, that nah, too but that that scene was incredible. Um, no, it wasn't actually. It actually wasn't incredible. It was I just a had very good mid scene. Okay, maybe you watched it recently. That's why you think that. But I watched it when I was a kid, so that shit was incredible. No cap. Um, <laughs> yeah, you're weird. Uh, you was like, oh shit. And you rewind that bit like three or four times. You rewatched it. You know what I'm saying? He's like, oh, he aggressive. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Bro, I was like, fucking 11. Relax, Damn. bro. Nobody will see them? Mm hmm. They kept rewinding that, bro. Yeah, say, so, and then and in the last the last battle with a uh, Clarence, I, I just I don't re- even like that verse. That is, I like it, but I don't think that's the best best verse. Clarence, you had some real good parents. That one, yeah. No, that was a valid line. But the my favorite part was finding out a few months ago that 
Uh, that was Anthony Mackie. That blew my fucking mind. Clarence mm-hmm. was Anthony Mackie. Like Captain America sidekick. Oh. That's the same guy that's but in all I, the movies I, right I, now. But I thought you meant, um, like, that's who he was coming up. Like, oh, no, 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 no. no I was no, like, wait, that's, what? Oh, no, no, that, that's Anthony Mackie. Clarence in 8 Mile is Anthony Mackie. He's playing Clarence. Yes. But he's not Clarence in real life. Oh, no. no I, don't, I mean, I don't know what his background is. That's so why I was like, yo, that'd be wild as shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but that, that was dope, man. That whole show was dope. You know what I'm saying? You mean movie? Yeah, movie. Same show. See, my, my favorite verse is the second to last one. Which one was that? When a nigga was like, um, Lotto. She started screaming, Lotto, I don't fit you. That yeah. shit was fucking wild. Not going to lie to you, bro. I want to pull up to a rap battle just one time. And then I don't care if no one else is doing it, but I'm going to be doing this shit then. Put your motherfucking hands up and follow me. Yeah. Hey, move your motherfucking three, three, one, three. Put, put your motherfucking your hands, hands up. up. Oh, that shit oh. was hard, bro. I put my hands up and I lived in Toronto. <laughs> Seven year old age stand up like, oh. <laughs> Ma, Eminem is going crazy. One time I was in Ethiopia, bro, and that it was running that that show. Uh, the, the movie was playing on Ethiopia, right? And it had this one TV station. I think it's called Noor, which means like moon, I think, or moonlight in mm-hmm. Arabic. And then I, I think it was. And then uh, and then I knew which scene to avoid. You know what I'm saying? Because I was at my grandma's house, and I was like, it was like it was mad late, so nobody was there, but just in case. Turn the TV off for that one scene. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then I uh, turn it right back on and enjoy the rest of the night. I watched that movie about like 12, 15 times now. Because you know I got a horrible memory. But the fact that I can still remember some of the lines in the movie is wild yeah, to me. Facts. I actually said that back. I fuck with that um verse. Which one? The last verse. No, it was hard because it's like nobody saw it coming. I mean, I didn't as a kid. Like, oh I was like, "Em, what are you, what are you doing, man? Why are you talking shit about yourself?" <laughs> no, no. And oh. then you got done. He's like, "Oh man, that's so genius. <laughs> he has nothing to say about him anymore." And then Clarence was like, "Clarence, Clarence stood up and he was like, he's like." And then his agent, "Oh my God, it worked." <laughs> I'm going to school tomorrow. And then and then the beat drop. And then it throws a DJ doing this yeah. shit. And Clarence is still standing like. As if he couldn't still deliver the lines. <laughs> Clarence is like, I don't even. I can't even do deli- Because when you watch actual battle rap, it don't matter if the person invalidated what you're going to say. I was you just say this shit anyway. I was about to say that it's so crazy that in that moment you had. He has such a high regard for battle rap. He's like, <laughs> man, I actually can't say the things I said anymore because he just exposed I me. I was going to make fun of his trailer park, and I was going to make fun of his mom's living conditions, and but he just mentioned it all himself. What am I going to do? They can say, hey, bro, they like, me. I'm still getting these bars. I don't care what you talking about, nigga. You can't get these Yo, white trailer trash bro, bars, boy. I watched a lot of battle rap back in the day, and this is how it go. This is how it go, bro. Like, there'd be a short person. And a short person will be like, yeah, I'm short, but, ah, and he talks shit about the other guy, right? Yeah. And then in the next, when this other guy's turn, yeah. it'll be majority short bars. They don't care that the other person made fun of themselves. They They're don't. still going to make fun of the fact that you're either short, you got a big head, um, you grew up in the suburbs. You're that is right. like the worst you're... fate for a battle rapper, yeah, growing up in the suburbs. <laughs> like, whoa, nigga, you, you had a cul-de-sac when you were <laughs> Oh, no, nah, nigga, we got to get this. You got an in-ground basketball goal? <laughs> <laughs> your dad hooped with you every you day? garage? <laughs> Yo. your, dad, your dad was a responsible parent? <laughs> what? Wait, you you had both your parents and you showed up to what? this rap battle? Whoa. You had breakfast at 6.30 every morning? <laughs> what? The guy ate breakfast a day. Hey, everyone else here was on welfare. Like, you, you weren't on social support. Like, they just think of, I swear, the craziest shit. Sometimes they get real disrespectful. They talk about somebody who got smoked. And then and then you could tell like it gets real tense in there too. Maybe. I swear to God, it was so fun watching that shit grow up. It was one it was one ride where he said something and he was like, he kinda looked, he's like, all right, bro, I'll chill out real quick. Yeah. Man, that shit, I, I you know, you know how you, you know how you know when you're battle rapping when the shit pop? Cause it's like, so I'm me and my guys, and I got like three or four of my pot, like my guys right here with me. Yeah. And then there's an audience surrounding us. And we're yeah. in the middle of the audience. And then here's my opponent, and he has a few of his friends. And then an audience, when you say some shit that was so lyrically fucking glorious that his friends 
are trying their hardest to not celebrate, you know you want that shit. Yeah. And and it happens, bro. It Charlie literally Cook's happens. like the best at that, too. Yo, who's a person? Um, I was just about to say that. Char- Charlie but he be, he be rapping so, like, the way he be doing it and be so close to your face, bro. Yeah. I be getting mad. I be feeling oh, bad. That's, that's, I ain't gonna lie. That, to me, that's the most disrespectful thing. Okay, here, here, here. Uh, well, Conceited was great, um, but he had, like, gimmicks to him and shit that kind of made him entertaining. Yeah. But he wasn't, a like, a... When, when it comes to battle rapping, he wasn't the best battle rapper, yeah, but he was entertaining. He was. He was but there was this battle rapper I remember called Nove. And I don't know what it was, but his wordplay was so fucking immaculate, man. And I used to just watch Nove just tear people apart. And then he would just, like... Like, it would be like... You know you know how, like... Uh, I don't know. Which which ones did you watch? They got, like, uh, A-Hat. Uh, URL. Yeah, they had, like, four or five, URL, like... URL and Smack are the two I, I watch the most. And they'd be like... Uh, this side, the reigning champion, and they introduce him, and it, it looked like a fair battle until they start spitting, and then this fucking game set match, Nov just tore somebody apart. Not gonna lie to you, that craft of battle rapping, keeping your composure when the other person is rattling off really, really good bars, and on top of that, memorizing and delivering. You gotta really deliver it. The you delivery. can't just have cool shit to say. You have to really deliver it. Because there's no beats behind it. At all. And so when you're delivering it, not only are you delivering it, but you have to know when the punchline is yeah. to make sure you deliver it properly that everybody understood what you just right. said. Right, and sometimes the can. crowd get real lit, right? Yeah. Now you got to manage the crowd because it's like, I got to spit off the rest of these lines. I'm on a clock. Crowd, yeah, chill out, chill out, chill out. Chill and you know the guy, the host in the middle will be like, yo, yo, yo. Hold it down, hold it down, hold it down. Yeah, yeah. Hold it down. yeah he says clips to his spine. Ah. Relax, 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 relax. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hell no, chill, oh, chill, chill, chill. Oh, I forget it. <laughs> I forget it. Because sometimes they be forgetting their lines, you man. You too hype at the moment. You, start, you can't stutter. Once you stutter. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's actually stutter. one. You add that to the list of things. Like, nigga, you from the suburbs, and then you stutter, you lost. Bro. Nah, you can't. In fact, like, you had to... You had to, like... um, That's such an interesting sport. Because that's a sport, bro. Your garage works. <laughs> you had a garage? You had real grass? Bus stops in the neighborhood? I'm about to say, man, what? The pizza man delivered to your house? <laughs> what? You wear Sperry's? <laughs> you didn't have to feed your baby sister and brother? Yo, but but all of that You didn't shit... have to pick up two jobs? <laughs> what? I don't know how much money they was playing for in these tournaments, but this shit was good entertainment. Um, no cap. Yo, but Loaded, loaded Lux... In Charlie Clips. What was the one I watched? It was one Day, called like Daylight. T dot or like T something. You know That's what I'm saying? I think t- that may be Toronto thing. And Daylight. Those are the th- my three favorite, bro. Murder Mook was good too, but those three, those are, those are my favorite three. Because um, Loaded Lux had one when he was, um, he was like legit sunning him. Mm-hmm. He came there with a suit tie, everything ready to go. And he spit something crazy. And he just stopped, and the dude was like trying to look out in the in the crowd. He's like, "Look at me, King! Look at me!" And then he literally just start like spitting to this nigga disrespectful shit. Like, "Look at you talking on mad tough and shit, trying to be just like your pops." I was like, "Okay, all right, all right, let's calm down for a second. He's like, "Nah, your pops left your mother. Your pop. I was like, "Stop!" He's like, "Your pops left your mother on the corner selling that butter." Now, you think that's what a real man do? I was like, no, stop. Stop. Just stop. Stop. So then he started looking out in the crowd. He's like, wow, do you wild? And he's like, nah, but look at me, King. Look at me. I was like, nigga, stop. Yeah, the wildest shit is like when, nigga, for some reason, the battle rapper had insider information about something real tragic in that person's personal life, and they're willing to use it very maliciously, and they just surprise everybody on the third fucking round. Maybe I bet y'all didn't know. No, nah, they, be, they be surprising me people. Cause like the niggas already gonna be upset and then they people be like, nigga, what? Like, really? You saying that shit? Yeah. Cause we can just get to violating like, right yeah. now. They, we, they know stuff that you wouldn't know about. I remember when you was in sixth grade, you had braids, a nigga beat your ass, you went home with a fro. <laughs> like some shit like that. Like nobody do about it, but they say <laughs> <laughs> And niggas looking around like, nigga, what? That nigga probably and the nigga he rapping that try to figure out like who the fuck I went to sixth grade with, nigga? Like, he trying to figure out, like... Why he trying to get to the bottom of this? He's like, nigga... Yeah, that's like... Uh, I don't know if you ever followed Nardwar. You know who that is? Yeah. Yeah. N- I know more about rapping you. About. So yeah, you that's don't. That's creepy. Yeah, Nardwar gets real creepy with it, but that's his thing, though. And it's crazy how respected he is just across the whole industry. Every musician <laughs> respects Nardwar as number one in his craft, most entertaining person to do interviews with. 
Yeah, that's he is. that's that's a tough feat to accomplish, man. No cap. But why, why don't you think I know more about rap than you? You don't, Lo. You don't, bro. You trolling? I'm not trolling. You think you know more about rap than me? Without a doubt. Even though I'm you, older and you're two years older. I'm still older though. Okay, yeah. all right. The other girl I was talking to that I was like I'm three years. Four she was years like older than you. she was like four Five? months older than me, bro. And she would be like, "Oh my god, like you're you're, you're so young." And I'd be like. I hate that. Man. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, I four months. Like, I'm be trying to talk to thirty year olds, forty year olds. Yo, no baby. cap. I'm like, bro, I'm older in the same women club is... you in right now. We older... both got in here. No cap. You gotta try it, bro. You gotta try. Wait, you talking about thirty plus? Yeah, yeah. No, nah, I mean that's the best. Serious. That's the I best. I'll be down to try something like that. Be thirty five, thirty five. But she plus. can't have kids though. No, no kids. Thirty five plus. Okay. I mean, well, one I mean, kid not bad. Just make sure it's sleep. It's just weird when they no, walk just, out. They, they don't need to be in the house no more. Yeah. Uh, that's bad advice. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. I mean, I, I see it a couple kids. It's just weird. No, nah, because you, you can't. Imagine you going to a woman's house, and she had fucking, it. and then you walked out, you tiptoeing out, and, and the little nigga said, Is that Agent Zero? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that'd be wrong. Got on the like, yo, agent is fucking my mom, yo. <laughs> and he's like, hey, yo, take, hey, yo, get a picture right quick. Yo, hey, yo, mom, mom, get in mom. this one. Yo, I'm subscribed, bro. Mom, put some pants on, but get in the photo, What's though. Up, mom? <laughs> You just, dude, you're done being a whore for tonight. Whoa, fuck. whoa, 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 bro. What the fuck? Yo, that's what he says, mom, bro. Yo, nah, 30 plus is probably too much, but like 20, like I'm 24. No, 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 30. You get to 30. It's different because yeah. the older the girls yeah. get, like around this age, 21 to 24, they still playing these little games. But 30 year olds, they, get they know what they it. want. Like if you just want to, they, they know that you don't want a relationship. What? They want that young stamina. They want that cheetah in me. You know what I'm saying? That nah, that, that hellcat in me. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these niggas around 48, they, they more like a Hemi. Hey, oh. You know what I said? But I got that scat. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes that I got hell that scat. You should have said demon. You got the demon. Huh? 900 horsepower. Wide body. Oh, I forgot about that. Yep. Mm-hmm. You got demon? I do. I be on See, that I demon. Ain't, I ain't going to lie. I ain't got no demon. I ain't going to just, I ain't going to hold it. It depends. Off that part 30. All right. Yeah. Um, I mean, but dead ass. No, over, but over no, 30. I, I, genu- I genuinely Check enjoy. Check my part 36 stats. I genuinely enjoy talking to women that's older more. Women that's younger just don't have nothing figured out. Facts. Swear. And I never understood why people, most guys I talk to like fucking with girls that's younger. By a decent amount, too. Like, they're by two to, to three manipulate. years. Like When you're older and got your stuff set up, they're more easy. Like, if you talk to a girl your age, especially with everything going around, man, all they care about, it's just music. Hip-hop is getting these girls' head. Like everybody want a Birkin, they want that's bad. You're not like, lying though. That part I know, is true. But he, but he said this shit like he was like 58. Like this <laughs> hey, dog hey, the hip-hop music, music, man. Yeah, this hip hop is, is really messing them up. Like it's it's same with niggas too. But it's yeah, like, but I I don't agree with that just personally because like per, when I grew up listening to 50 Cent. I never really wanted to shoot nobody. You know what I'm saying? Like, but when you, uh, what was that song? Get up where 50 cent just woke up in like the middle of the fucking desert. You remember that one? Get up. You know that song? No. He had a song, bro. Man, it made you want to just do dumb shit, but like you never really did dumb shit. It just gets you in the mood to do dumb shit. But so personally me, you know, when I listen to gangster rap, I can't really relate, but I don't really, that don't inspire I mean, me to do dumb shit and fire on people and shoot at suburbans. Like it just doesn't. That's different all, though. You got common though. sense though. But then when you got girls so they don't that have they common look up, sense, huh? <laughs> a lot of people don't have common no, sense. You saying women don't have common okay. sense? No, 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 no. No, that's not what I'm saying. But okay. I'm saying like you know, like sweetie, no, Megan Thee Stallion. There's city no, there's girl. no diversity. I think that's the you know what I'm saying. Problem. Every not female is they're just not popping. Well, there's plenty of great women artists. They just not getting that. They're not getting that spotlight. All you see is Cardi B, exactly. Megan Thee Stallion, but that's, Sweetie. That's what I mean, though. That's what I mean, though. That's what I mean. <clears> you know what I'm saying? And that's all they hear. So you got girls coming up thinking like they deserve a Birkin. Are we going to have this conversation? Because I, be, I really... Uh, I be, I'm not going to lie, John. I kind of want you behind there, but I also kind of want you to jump right here at the same time. I don't know how that's possible. Okay. Okay. We could just have a conversation next podcast. Or you want me to... Well, we're in the middle of the podcast right now. <laughs> oh, yeah, but it, well, he can't because... Yeah, because oh, the, mic, can, doesn't, the no, mic doesn't move. Yeah, the mic don't move. Man, that's but, tough. No, but... I, I dead ass. I don't know if we should really have this conversation. Just come here. Just share my mic. All right. Just keep it on wide. Yeah, I don't know if we should really have this conversation because I'd be feeling like Loki is kind of disrespectful to women. But like, if we're gonna just keep it a beam. Why don't women support? Oh like, shit! We got to edit in, edit in the round of applause. Hey. <laughs> Nigga grabbing his pillow. Hey. Don't touch him. He's cold. 
Yeah. Get my elbow. Get my elbow. Nah, you, your elbow. Keep that. Keep that elbow to yourself. Oh no, my toe. <laughs> yeah, you keep keep your toe to yourself, man. Yeah. I like the socks you have on. Hey, yeah. comments. Y'all like your socks? <laughs> Let me go tell us if y'all don't throw no fucking socks. <laughs> yeah, but my first of all, my feet look good, bro. As a person who's not got a pedicure in three weeks, they look good. Nah, throw them socks. On oh my side. bad, I don't have this on me like that. Throw, it's kind of it's kind of difficult to them, get proximity when you got the mask on. Throw them socks on next time we see you, boy. That's it it makes me feel you. real uncomfortable. Mad uncomfortable behind a behind a whole screen. <laughs> Miles away in a different state. Yeah, just you making me feel mad uncomfortable here, bro. I'm gonna put them socks on next time I see you. Yeah. Yo, but if we had this conversation, we, we we can have it. I I truly believe a huge part of it is that there's no diversity, and there is, but and, they just don't. what? An artist? Don't, yeah, they don't got, support it. You got like what's her name? Tara Whack. She's hard. Yeah, right. Uh, you gotta put that mic next to your lip, boy. You gotta put that uh, put it right next to your lip. There you go. You put it right on your lip. You got like Tara Whack. She hard. Um, who else? Yeah, Tierra Wack is actually she hard, but she don't rap by that kind of stuff. She actually like rap. Uh, who else you got? Like back in the day, Chica, Chica is rap is hard too. I don't. I heard of her, but don't, they don't play her she, music but enough. She hard. They don't she, play her music enough. Who else? Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, Rhapsody hard. Um, it's somebody who be doing freestyles all the time. Young and May. Does she count as a girl female <laughs> rapper, or is she just why, in the nigga category? Okay. I mean, but she. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> no, but I, I just think it's, it's Young and May is my favorite, like, lyrical. She's not even lyrical all the time, but she. What are we making this about? What are we making this? What, what, what are we making this about right <laughs> now? No, but real shit. Um, yeah, I had that. Con- uh, were you in the conversation, Lo? We was talking about that. Like, it at the end of the day, like, music is influence. But I, maybe personally for me, I just don't get influenced by music like that. So I just think it's I a balance. That's why. What does that mean though? Like, cause they cause like you. Your favorite rapper is Lupe, but you can also listen to Fifty Cent, and it's it's Lupe's a balance. Tough. It's a yeah. balance there. If you're a female and all your representation is Nicki Minaj, Cardi B, City Girls, talking about I scam niggas for Birkin bags, then that's just how you. That, that's your ideology of what of that world is. And it's lit too. They have a lot of Yo, music. they can't hear you when you do that. Just listen. And it's, it be lit music too. Like I I I've been a victim of bumps or some shit. I shake my head to it sometimes. Come you on, like ass to it. Take the mic back. Hey, stop being weird, bro. <laughs> I'm saying you get lit to that shit. Nah, <laughs> nah, you get lit to it, right? Now you be twerking that shit in your in your closet, your walkie closet. You be twerking. Nah, you ain't never twerk. Nah, John, keep it a bean. A bean. What you am I? Never twerk. Never twerk. I ain't never catch you downstairs twerking, nigga. You would never caught me downstairs twerking. Stop, nigga. You want you want bumming that shit in that when you sitting down in there? <laughs> yeah, exactly, nigga. Facts, facts, facts. No, don't 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 give him a response. <laughs> nah, but really, older women, older women is just they just got their shit together. As a guy who has his shit together, largely, mm-hmm. uh, it's annoying to, to deal with people that don't. Yeah. And then when you deal with them, it's like they have to be really attractive to make up for the fact that they don't have their shit together, because. If they're not attractive or they're just mid and they also don't have their shit together, we actually have zero things to talk about. 35. 35 older, bro. 35 is too much, though. Not really. 35 is like a great number. Like, 35, if she kept her stuff together, she can look like she's like 26, 27. That's what I'm saying, yeah. Like, but that that age right there, like, she could put you on game, too. Like especially being a young young dude, like, 35, she know a lot about life. She's been in this world. And then she's going to keep 100. She's not, she got her own stuff. She got her own business. Like, she don't care about what I have. To, like, if we fuck with each other, we're like, it's like we fuck with each other. Like, we can, like, talk and everything. And not, nobody not going to suspect nothing either because it's like, she's 35. I'm my age. You know what I'm saying? What's that? What's that, what's that age? Huh? What's that age? I always keep it disclosed so I don't have to tell her. I just say I'm grown. <laughs> I'm grown. I, I, I can buy liquor with my ID. So that helps y'all. Yes. Come on, can just, you rent a car? Oh, then you grow. Yeah, you but grow. you only need to be like 18 to rent a car. No, you know. Yeah, you do. You 18. Be you got to be 18, bro. You gotta be over 21. Oh, for real? Yeah. I might, it must be different here. Uh, <clears throat> it must be different yeah, here. Right. Nah, um, that's interesting. That's very interesting, man. That's that's real interesting. That's why I, that's why I think like it might be too early for me to be in a relationship, no cap. Nah, just, but, but try older try older women. Nah, but the thing but is, so most of the most of the women no. that I talked to, that I've talked to in the last year were older than me. By, mostly by like a year or two years, sometimes like three, max like four years. Um, 
And you could see them battling with the idea of fucking with somebody that's younger than them the whole time, bro. The whole time. And they'll bring it up to you once they get comfortable enough with you. And they might even make jokes about it. You know what I'm saying? And now make my, like, your Matt old jokes. Because <laughs> even, even, though, even though you're two, three years apart, even though you're two, three years apart, you technically weren't in high school at the same time ever. So, like, you just had different experiences altogether, even though you're two, three years apart. So that's always the wildest part. So sometimes I'll say some shit, like... For you, no. What do you mean? Because two years you were in high school together in here, in, down in... um. In Wait, the states. high school's only two years? What you saying? No, it's four years. So okay. if we're two years apart, we were in high school. No, what I'm saying it's still different. Like you know, what I'm saying it's just different, bro. Yeah, I, I hear what you. It's saying. just different. Like when, like, like, like when she had a BlackBerry, I probably didn't even have a phone yet. Type shit. So yeah, that's the only thing you could see. It. And then eventually, like they come to like a point where it, they had to like make a decision. Like, am I gonna be okay with fucking with somebody that's younger than me? And most of the time, the answer is no. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's like. It's like when you talk to older women, man, you gotta you gotta be you gotta be so cool. And like the thing is about me, I'm fun, I make jokes and all that, but outside of like when I'm serious, I'm very mature. So if she has to question your age, that's another thing right there. Like you could talk to her and like we both in the club, so she assumed I'm over I'm already over twenty one, you know what I'm saying? So you talk to her, you had a nice vibe, you carry yourself right, she's not even gonna ask you that. You start doing immature shit and then you start acting like your age, she's like, How old are you? You know what I'm saying? But if she don't ask you that, that's already one step. Now she's already fucking with you. Now yeah. it's already too late. She's already she's already sucking me by now. You know what I'm saying? You can cut that out. You can cut it out. You cut it out. But you uh, looking at us to cut out, nigga. We ain't editing no podcast. Dude. I'm joking. Why I'm you, joking. I'm joking. Like I'm joking. I'm joking. But I'll just say, um, yeah, you keep it a hundred. You say I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Yeah, I said, I'm joking. I'm just letting, I'm just letting the naughty naughty gang. I'm joking. Like I'm just joking. Don't um, don't try that. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not gonna work for you. Um, but yeah, so you just keep it like if you at mature, bro. She's not even gonna ask you that shit. Um, then you'll be able to get. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, was that, was a a that was the problem I had. That was the problem I had because uh, especially like, especially like last year, early this year. Yeah, you can go ahead and you can go back to the chair. <laughs> John. You, see, you go, you go back, you go back, you go back behind, <laughs> oh, man. You go back behind the camera, John. Yeah, next week, man. Fear to fear. Yeah, no cat. Yeah, so appreciate the opportunity, man. John, John is right though, because that's the problem I had. Like, sh- I would eventually end up saying or doing something that would, and it would remind her that, like. Oh man, he is younger than me because like like most of the guys my age just don't do that shit. You know what I'm saying? It's maybe not that. Some sometimes it is, but a lot of times it's just references. Like she'll crack a joke and she'll be like, "Oh man, I remember high school when this song came out." And then you be like, "I barely remember this song." You mean middle school, right? Yeah, middle school, right? Elementary. <laughs> like you, when we went to like a school dance and the parents were there. Yeah. <laughs> or she she be singing a song. She know all the words. She's like, "Man, this song was lit back in the day." I have no idea what the song is. That's normally when it's when it's separate. But that same shit is gonna happen even if you date. You had to date someone exact your exact age to avoid that. Not exact age, but maybe we maybe if we don't know the song word for word, but we still close enough to know. Like if you put on a Fifty Cent song, we had a how it is. If you me and you put on certain Drake and Kanye songs, we gonna know it, right? Mm-hmm. But if somebody who's six years younger than us. We can put on that same Drake and Kanye song, still Drake and Kanye, but they may, they may not know what it is. Or even if they know it, they don't know it word for word like we know it just because that's what we grew up grew up on. Word. So that's, I mean, that's to me, that's when it's, that's when I start to really recognize like, oh yeah, we are. There's that difference again coming up. There it is. You got to appreciate them cookout rides. When your parents play that music, you got to take notes and listen to it. You know what's so crazy? That. Those songs be hitting now. Yeah. Like Frankie music, Beverly and Maze. And Music Soul Child and um, mm-hmm. Life Jennings. Like yep. all that be hitting that. right now. You That's know Frankie Beverly and Maze? You can that means y'all old, soul bro. In there. You know what that is? <clears throat> no, nah, I didn't grow up in the South. Yeah, that's oh, what yeah. I thought. Yeah, Thanks. that's right. That's when that's that's when I noticed when you be different. <laughs> I'll be like, damn, they didn't even grow up in the South. Bro. You're not like most of the people in the South, though. Who, me? Yeah. Why oh, you said that? Uh, I'm different? Yeah, like you're um, look, at me, look at me though. You're more like connected with the world. Mm. A lot of people that grew up in the South for real? Like a real southern. You mean that? But they just don't have influences from anywhere else. But you mean that though? So there's just a disconnect. You mean that though? You feel me? You mean that? Pull out your text, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll be I'll be trying to be I'll be trying to be worldly and stuff, you know, at least countrywide, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel you. Get a little influence here and there. I eat some tacos every now and then. 
Sound like you drive a Ford F-150. Oh, yeah, man. I like to eat some tacos from time to time myself. I'm so happy I don't have a like an Atlantan or, or a Southern accent, like a heavy one. I'm so happy I don't. Yeah, that's that would be a... Like, which accent are you talking about? That, that, that East Atlanta one, the slang, or like the Southern... No, East Atlanta. Like, got that twin. Like, I kind of like, wish yeah, I had yeah, a... I kind of wish I had... Yo. Oh God! Oh God! Yeah, I fuck with him like that twin. Yeah, fuck with him. I wish I had life. like a. Man, you could shit. turn that on though, right? Yeah, talk that shit on whenever I want to. If, if I'm trolling, I can. Yeah. Yeah, I can't even turn on like a Toronto accent all that well. Oh, for real? When I'm trolling. Come on, fam. Yeah, yo, no, man, no. man's is wilding today, bro. Bear, bear, man's is coming through. Like I don't have like a good, <laughs> like I don't have a good accent at all. I don't have the only good accent I have is an African accent. I just kind of grew up with African parents, so. Well, then you but it's like a generic one. It's actually nothing like what my parents sound like at all. <laughs> huh? Well, mine's a generic East Atlanta um, accent. Oh, where? Oh, God, uh. <laughs> Fold me, folk. Hey, that my, that my partner there right there, kid. Oh, yeah, twin. Yo. Hey, twin. But pull up some apartment from low. That my partner, yeah. We call it hey, to yo. the apartment real quick. Good ass on deck, for sure. Fold me. Yes, you, you got that guy on you, right? On God, I do. All right, say so less. I run, all that shit, like that, three for five. Say yo. less, say, say less. less. Just like that, though. All right, I got yo, you, folk. I got you, folk. Nah, shit, wipe your no nose. No cap. Yeah, no cap. No kizzy. No cap. I tell you. Yeah, that accent, they just, they just, y'all just skip the second half of words, and that's supposed to be. That is a fact. <laughs> That's supposed niggas, to be. <laughs> nigga, it'd be a three syllable word. They just like two and a half and it's done. Yeah, it's like, I don't even want to finish that nah, word. You, you, you got it. You got the gist of what I'm saying. You got it. You, you understood, it. right? You got it. Yeah, I saw that. I, I remember when um, Willie, when y'all first got down here and Willie showed me this, um, this video of a woman talking about how she went to the beauty store and she was talking. And he was like, I don't know what she just said. I don't know what word she just said. Yeah, right? it was like that when I first went to Popeye's here too. Oh. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, I was like, "Huh? Excuse me? Say that oh, again?" You what? No, no, no. We went somewhere, and I heard the lady the second time, and you kept saying, "Wait, what are you? What are you saying?" She's like, she said it again. He was like, "But that that part that you saying, what was you mean? What do you mean?" And she said it again, and I was like, "Nigga, do you not understand what she's saying?" But then in my mind, I'm like, I can't understand what she's saying. But you asked her like three or four or five times, and I could tell she was getting irritated. And I was like, nigga, just don't. Why didn't Why didn't she try and say it differently? Is she an uh, irresourceful she person? She doesn't know how person? to say it differently. No, 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 no. Like when when people uh, when people ask my name, I say, yeah, my name is Dean. Huh? Dean. Like I try and say it differently, so maybe you understand differently. Why she say it the same fucking yeah, way like, multiple like, times? She was like, God damn. You like, huh? She's like, God damn. <laughs> You heard me. You heard me. And I'm like, all right, say it. In, you see how I sound, right? I'm not from here, so say it in a way that I would understand now. Gah. Uh huh. Duh. <laughs> That's exactly how she is. She was just talking. I was like, nigga, do you not understand? But it just be hitting me like sometimes y'all niggas don't even know what the fuck going on right here. You know what I'm saying? Look at this nigga right here. <laughs> you just dropping phones. Motherfucker right here. God damn. Oh, sh- you know what I'm saying? Slow I wish I, I, I might have to work on getting good at accents. I feel like just being around people that have accents is good for developing accents. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yo, can, did you did you grow up saying face ass, um, John? Yeah. Did you grow up saying face ass? I ain't say it, but most a lot of people around me do. Or face, boy. or face, like no, we didn't say face. You got face, face ass. ass. Right, man, where is that from? Face ass. I don't know. I have no clue. I think it. I think it came from the um, it originated from that young jock. Remember, um, looking at a boy, and they changed it. Remember, I felt yeah, no, I know, I agree with that. I remember that, but I, that I, boy. I, I felt like we were saying it before that. But he said, but I feel like when did we st- when did I start saying that? I remember it's like I was in high school when we started saying that. Shit. I was he's in high school, like, dad. No cap, it was high school. Real talk, real talk, folks. How did they use it though? It'd be like they said, but like they said, hey. I still want to. I still want to go to the hood with you though. Yeah, we had to. I'm down. I'm down. I'm down. And you'll see me. You'll but we see gotta me. do that shit in a few weeks. You know what I'm saying? Grind about to start. Uh, 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 uh. Hey, um, we didn't say fuck Audio Mac to start this podcast. I just want to say right now, man, make sure to fuck everyone that lives and breeds Audio Mac that uses the platform. The same. <laughs> I ain't know he's about to say something else. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> I do have to get out of this room though because he's sick and I'm about to have the biggest day in my life God in a few damn. days. God damn. Are they playing music downstairs while we're doing a podcast? I, I like that out of them right there, man. You like the energy? <laughs> yeah. You like that energy? like that making no money energy. I like that. No, I love that shit. That's man. my favorite. I keep. I love that. When we, when we making, when UMG just claim that shit. You be I like, look forward to those now. I'll be like, man, all that editing time I put into it, 
all for you, UMG. Just so, just so you can make no money off of it. All for you. It's it's for you. <laughs> I like that. Me. Hey, uh, appreciate y'all coming through on the pod, though, man. I'm not going to lie. We had to do this one early because 2K21 about to drop next gen. I just got my Xbox. got my game. So I'm about to start grinding. You know what I'm saying? So y'all might not see me. Except you will, bro, because I'm going to be all over the internet spamming these uploads. Y'all going to be sick of me. Y'all going to be sick of me, bro. You do the um, how to connect to the internet with your Xbox Series X video? No, I'm not going to do that. You going to do your, uh, how to change the time on a PS5? <laughs> how to, <laughs> how to hey, guys, change I had this bug on my PS5, so I went on Reddit. I see a lot of people having a problem with it. Um, So this, this is a, it's a crazy bug. Actually, crazy story. Um, I came home from work, right? Mm. And I tried put it on and it wasn't working. And I was trying to figure out what was going on. So I, I surfed the internet. Niggas will tell you their whole life story in them videos and tutorial videos just to be like, all right, so what you do is. Uh, five minutes in, like, hey, just to remember, before we get started, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Yeah. Click the link in the description and make sure to fill out the six part survey. That's going to give me more information about you. Yep. All right. Um, so what you do is you just go to the. It's really simple. It's so simple. It's so simple. I'm gonna you talk just, about how simple it is, real quick. Just how simplistic this whole process is for a couple more minutes, at least. Yeah, it took me less than less than ten seconds to do this. As simple it was, they should really make it even easier. At least tell you where it's at. Mm-hmm. But once you figure out where it is at, it's so simple. It's so it's, simple. It's, it's, it's like mind blowing. They just make it difficult sometimes for no reason. But it can, it can really be simple if you if they just like yeah. yeah here, let me just. Let me explain. So you first you go to settings. See, normally it shouldn't be in settings. It shouldn't even be in settings. But it's in settings right now. It shouldn't now. be there. Then you go under privacy settings. Uh-huh. See? And that right there, that's crazy. Because they should have just put that on the home screen. Yeah, they didn't even have to, d- to push it so goddamn yeah. deep. And it's like a fucking Sony DSLR menu screen. And then you go three three things down. You hit X and that's it. All right, now make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, man. Make sure to share and make sure to fuck Audio Mac. That's when I realized timestamps in comment sections were, were the wave. Niggas in the comment section were like, bro, just 957, bro. That's it. Just go right there. 957, you'll get yeah, the answer. Yeah, they save us. Yeah, save it. Well, there's a couple times where like I did that in a jump shot video and I saw one of those and I was like, I don't do this too often, but I, I'm going to delete that comment right there. <laughs> I need these guys to watch the whole thing. <laughs> hey, I did. Hey, was, I made a fucking video about the Pelicans. I was like, I'm trying to build up like like the great um a great young core. Mm-hmm. And niggas is like, bro, here's a here's the timestamps telling you the players he select. And I was like, nigga, stop. Like that's the whole point of the video is the journey, nigga. Did you <laughs> fuck out of here? Then I literally had to go like you gonna miss the explanation. I had to perma ban all those timestamps. <laughs> Just so they don't think it's okay to ever time stamp one of my shits again. Yeah, no, nigga. I had a perma bam. Uh, what was what those things called? The two dots? They're not semicolons. What is that? Drop down menu? No, no, no. The two dots on um on the time. Semicolon? It's not a semicolon. Uh, what is it, John? Two dots on a timeline? Colon? When you talk, when you doing it, is it a colon? A colon. A colon. Just two dots? You know what you do in the time? Yeah, like, like a two to it's two a dots. colon. Like colon cancer. Hey, you had a perma band. Because you got a semicolon and you got the colon. All right. I had a I had a perma bam colons, yep. Yeah, we get your. We talk more about colons on the next podcast. Hopefully, your, your girl can join us, give us a little bit more insight on you. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the podcast, man, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel. Video is available on YouTube at Peer to Peer. Don't thrust your hips in public, uh, especially not on video. That made me wildly uncomfortable. Make sure Yo. to say fuck Audio Max, Spotify, Yo. Google Play, Stitcher. Thanks for showing love. Apple Podcasts Yo. almost at three thousand five stars. Make sure to drop one. Yo, listen. I got what you call a flawless spit game. Damn, he nice. That used to be my nickname. I don't get hot. When I spit, I get flames. Cold, cold, cold blooded, raised in the hood like Rick James. Who was that? I'm a dark room. Go ahead and walk at me blindly. Who was that? Don't even worry about it, bro. Just make sure you get your bars ready when we go to the studio. Hey, we do that shit today. <laughs> Psych, you're sick. Stand exactly, fine. nigga. Plus, you know, the uh, the uh, game about to drop, bro. So they give me a little bit more time to flame your ass. Hey, what? um. Okay. <laughs> hey, uh. Um, right. Get your money up, bro. I've been hearing some things about how you're not making money. Hey, we'll catch you guys on the next podcast, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> peace out, fellas. <laughs>